Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are live. Welcome to the new studio. The new studio, still a work in progress, but hopefully sufficient enough for you. What is it, our third or fourth studio in uh, seven or eight filmings? Pretty soon we'll be set in stone somewhere. Yeah. Just hold off. We'll we'll get there. I'm good to go. We're live. Everyone can hear us. Everyone can see us now. Yeah. We got anybody in here? We got mm-hmm. some some people in here. All right. Welcome. Welcome. It's was been it, a while. What are we gonna watch today, Jose? I believe well, it's you. We're gonna watch a uh, little Karch Karai and his final win in 2005. Who do you play in his final win? You know, I'm kind of getting sick of all these games that we play of me losing. <laughs> yeah, I we... think this is my third loss that we've... Uh, I'm 0 for 3 on the show. Okay, how many games have we watched on the channel where the hosts have won? We watched Ta- me, Taylor's me losing. I wa- we watched ours, but it was a quarterfinals. doesn't count. You still won. Has Rosie and won on the channel? Nick, no. We got our guest. Oh. How nice of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got to win. Let's get our <laughs> our uh, our guests to win. We got to start but watching. But I think this one's actually really cool because it is Karch Karai's um, Ooh, second, that to last, is second to last final. A so. new subscriber. Say what? Dr. Wait, this Jones. This is our first one. Our no first way. one that you guys have seen. We yeah. had some people do it without oh us God. in. There we Dr. go, Doctor Jones. Jones. Amazing, the doctor will see you now. Thank you so much for the hey, you know, uh, tier one. I got to teach my guys. Um, so on the side, it'll say the tier. Yeah, so we got train. tier one, and we have a hype train. We got Ravi oh, Kavis. Nice. He's from one of my channels. Ravi, he subscribed thank you. with the Prime. Oh, there. It, so it tells you how they right. do it. Prime reset in three days, but had to send it. I love it, Doctor Jones. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. And Ravi. Welcome in, Ravi. Sorry for the delay, but we have everything set up now. I only threw one thing. <laughs> <laughs> that we saw. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's was, a lot easier. I wasn't here this weekend, so who knows what. Yeah. Actually, yeah. there was not a lot of rages. There was a, as you can see on the door right there, there's some black marks. That was carrying in the, the couch you're sitting on. We can paint that again. We can blame that on the Baconator. Didn't he help you uh, carry those in? No, I, I carried everything in here was carried by solely me. Oh. Bake helped me retrieve them. You carried this couch in just by yourself? Both of them. Come on, player. You hulked out. <laughs> Training matrix, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a moving team when you can just carry couches by yourself? <laughs> but we have, uh, as people are coming in, we are watching... Karch Karai. I guess we could put that on the little change the title, but Karch Karai, last game playing Hosinho. Hosey graciously letting him. You know, I could have done the same for CPAT, and I thought I was. I was yeah. like, let's just give him a, his last game. <laughs> let's do it. But you know, Hosey, I, kn- I didn't know if Karch was going to make it back to another final or not. You know, this is, yeah. he might be 45 in this, but he did is he, playing with Mike Lambert. Did he play time. it in 2006? He did. We played yeah. him in another final in 2007. So, oh. we're two years after this. Two years after this. He makes this. another final. Yeah. How old was he when he made that final? I don't know, but he beat Phil and Todd in the semis, and I was like, dude, we have to win this game. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> way. Out of the That's way. We incredible. have to win this game, and we did. And uh, Were you still with Wit? No, I was with Jake then. That was in oh, Tampa. 2000. Seven. Seven. Yeah, Jake and I started playing the year after this one. There's a big switch up with Lambo is kind of the main reason why. Because uh, Stein was trying to play with him. They're yeah. both Hawaii kids, and Jake was playing with Stein, and so there was going to be a big switch up, and I, I I was sitting in a good spot. I was either going to get the 04 MVP or the 05 Worked MVP. Out for you. <laughs> and if either of those fell through, Sean Scott was calling me, and also other than that, I still had Larry Witt, you know, yeah. who was a great player and young. Yeah. So I was in a good spot at that time. But you win Lee. and do well and put yourselves in those spots to, yeah. you know, get those consideration, considerations or choices. You and Lambo would have been 
Yeah. Quite the thing. And a Stein and Holy cow. And Stein stayed with Jake. I was already yeah. talking with Lambo and that would have been an exciting team to watch. It would have been. You know, I, I wish uh, Lambo's um, injuries didn't cost him probably a little bit early because mm-hmm. uh, it would have been a great battle for that 08 Olympic run. Yeah. Because uh, they were ahead of us at the end of the 07 season. But not by much. And we had a pretty good 08. But I, I think a, they would have had a good one too. I got a pretty cool Lambo story that I'll tell sometime in the stream, I'm guessing. But he's one of my favorite people and probably top three favorite player of all time. I found out that in our four-man group that we play down at 29th with Chase and all the six-man guys, that Lambo's brother-in-law was actually one of those guys, in the, but he never mentioned it. He's just Ian. Mm. Oh, yeah. his last name. I can't pronounce it, but I know his last name, but I'm not even going to try. But he's he, married you know, so to basically, Lambo's sister? Yeah. Bas- or no. Lambo is married to Ian's sister. Mm. Ah. So I'm like, oh, you got... Part Lambo on you. We got to start <laughs> getting your volleyball up. <laughs> Aloha 808. What's up? Welcome in. It's just a fan tuning in to the right side Twitch channel, huh? The right side. I got to repost our little that we're live. Ah. Oh. I guess I should probably do that too, maybe. Yeah. How we doing, Aloha? Thank you again for tuning in. I saw that. Uh, I didn't get to watch the match, though. Hawaii lost in four. What? To CSUN. But they beat them the first one. Right? Versus what? CSUN. Yeah, they Their played. first match they played? Yeah, so they must have lost. The, no, I'm saying well, like think, when they did their back-to-back. You yeah, know, they, just oh, like they did with Long they Beach. Win yeah, their, yeah. They won their first one. Yeah, usually they play... Uh, Two times whenever someone flies to Hawaii. Was it close? It's kind of a spoiler. Not really. Actually, I I saw the scores of the sets, and it didn't look too good. Goodly. Well, they just need to settle into their their new squad now, not having their top guy. They get uh, the conference tournament is in Hawaii. Well, that's nice. So... (laughs) Trying to figure this thing out, man. Selling the grandstand this year. Thoughts? I just heard that, too. Uh, My mom called me. That was your mom on (laughs) the phone? I couldn't figure out who it was. We got to sell. We got to buy tickets now to get in. Uh, Well, I I didn't know that either. Paula, remember all the times you got in for free? (laughs) Remember the countless years you didn't have to play (laughs) ante? And even Uh, still... Taylor's going to get his mom tickets. Trevor, I don't know, but Taylor yeah. will. Oh, I think I still know someone there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's able to get a few, but no, I think it's a good thing that, um, yeah. you know. It's a what, way other, to... what other sporting event can you go to and watch for free? I know yeah. it's a public beach and all and whatever. I don't want to pay when I go, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I probably, I, well, if I have to, I have to. That's fine. Yeah. We've been talking about this, that if the AVP makes changes and... It isn't just the same sport we've been giving up, but there is some sort of difference. Then we are more inclined to pay. But if you, yeah, you're right. If you have been getting away with it for years, and all of a sudden you pay and nothing's changed, you're like, well, you're going to take an initial hit because people are going to be upset. But yeah. you are right that like, what what other sport do you? I mean, the only hit I think you'll take really is like Hermosa Beach, yeah, Manhattan Beach, maybe Huntington Beach. But still, you have so much foot traffic and so much, pe- like, their stands will still be full for the finals. Like, mm-hmm. they're always full. I and think, they will be full. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. Like you said, people are going to be upset. But at the end of the day, I haven't looked at the prices, but I'm sure they're reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Start at something. Yeah. 10 to $20 a person tops. Yeah. I mean, 20 tops, probably. I mean. Obviously, you get your VIP and stuff like that that you can yeah. charge up a bit, but. But it's great, and I think there's a lot of people who are always asking, like, oh, man, it's a shame you guys don't make more. It's a shame. It's like, yeah, but you're the same person that posts on Facebook when you had to pay for Peacock. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it, 
It's got to come from somewhere. And mm, so Tyler Bear says 32 a day per person. Like the, the kids get them free. Do we yeah. know that? Cali like Bear. 10 under, 10 and under, <laughs> 12 and under before preteen. I am 12. Oh, uh, back to the UH. Yeah, I mean, let's hope it's uh, 32 huh? a day. I mean, probably people the, think it's a lot, but like you're saying, other sports. You get spon- yeah, sponsor 32, village is like you s- thirty-two you know. a day. You know, you can you can hang out there and do whatever. For a basketball game, you're paying over a hundred bucks for two hours. Yeah, but and also, I'm sure they'll be in and out. You get a stamp on your hand or something. Yeah, you go to a basketball game, you go out, you can't come back in. Mm-hmm. There's no re-entries in any of that, so it'll be good. Um, you know, we have a new owner and a new few half new owner. things. Is it half owner? Bally still owns half of it. Okay. Um, so they a private equity oh. fund. Ooh, another sub. Tier one sub for Zach ain't whack. Oh, no Zach ain't whack. Another sub. There he is. Thank you, Zach. You are not whack. <laughs> yeah. Um. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, well. You got so excited about another know, subscriber. Yeah. Just completely Where's lost that? train of thought. What? Some ba- basketball game or no, that was AVP before. changing? Yeah. Or... Yeah. Oh, the new there's a new owner. Or a new, oh, oh, that's a half owner. Sure. Private equity group uh, came in and bought half of it to try and basically run it because Bally's wasn't doing anything with it yeah well and you know it's good to you know change it up i mean everything that's been happening doing the same thing is obviously not working it keeps getting sold or it keeps going bankrupt or you know the the prize money and amount of tournaments continue to fall so vertigo beach with uh does the fee go to bigger payouts i'm assuming you're talking about the fee for the tickets and the tickets um i, I would think that's it, what he's talking about but i don't think it goes to it's not going directly to bigger payouts no yeah they just need to make money so they can you know eventually build yeah. these stadiums build these setups uh and just have it generate more money i think i saw um that it lost the avp last year lost four million dollars four million last they lost year. four million well, how do you see those numbers from uh, ABP they're itself? They're in the public. You oh, can, there? Yeah, you can you can find them if you really tried. But see, I don't know enough about business where that four million you're. Hello, like huh? there, we got right off. Right more uh, subscribers here. That's Holy a, cow! That's a write off for. Uh, oh, there we go. Aloha, Aloha 808. 808 subscribed, and, and HCX Sand Volleyball. Right on, hey, thank you guys. Dow. Oh, it. Jay it's, Dow. Uh, Hey, we've already hit our sub goal. Hey, let's go. We did. I guess our sub goal was 10, and they don't realize the right side. <laughs> Rules deep, baby. Jada, you can... Uh, what is that? So these people didn't do the Amazon Prime? No, this is out of their wallet. Oh. This is out of their hard-earned money. And they, out of the kindness of their heart, J-Dow. That's my boy, by the way. J-Dow? Yeah. yeah. J-Dow. How do you know? Or How them? do I know? How do you know, How do you know him? He's building our website. <laughs> oh, we know. We know. J Dow. J Dow. Dow. His name's James Dowsett. Dowsett. And he was number, been a firefighter. He was number 22 in basketball. All right. James Dow. Oh, we got the whole explanation oh, yeah. on the. Uh, Thanks, Jay. The, the studio is actually First your bedroom, shatter. too, when you come here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got you here. Thank you guys all for the uh, for the subs. We will uh, obviously be getting into this volleyball game. We got Karch Karai's last one. The last win. Last Sorry. Win. Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> uh, Zach ain't whack. Troy, I'm going to tell Colin if he doesn't sub, we are going to give him a swirly. What's a swirly? <laughs> <laughs> That's still the best. Oh, 40. Did we ever I figure out uh, what Tim A's last name is? Tim A. Tim A. <laughs> Tim A. Hmm. I haven't figured it out yet. Tim A. No, 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 Timmy. I'll ask him one of these days. <laughs> That's outstanding. Well, welcome everybody in. 
you know, typically these, you know, streams, we try to do a just chatting, quote unquote, before we get into the production. But um, so get all the questions out. Now's your best time to just pick our brain. And as we get into the uh, you guys have seen us do this before. We'll hit the ground running, watch this game, and eventually we'll choose one that we win. Rosie brought that to our attention, that we've watched a lot of matches that we lose, so uh, we're due. I know I have to win more. You guys both won enough where we can watch you win, but a lot of my games, you know, weren't streamed. Eventually, I'll get a couple Rose. games that I won on here, but... Uh, Rose is just I exciting. Think this is a good one. Whether he wins or loses, it's just fun to watch. Yeah. I mean, I had phil in front of me for a long time so i got used to being number two anyway <laughs> phil nicholson so. uh zach and whack no i did not make a bracket this year uh i don't really know why i mean i've been sick the last three days so i was kind of like probably not into just i don't know i was sitting around so maybe i should have it should have given me more reason to so hmm. i don't really have a good excuse but if i did i probably would have picked houston mm. or I connecticut got, to win. i got uconn yeah, I would have gone Houston or Connecticut. I got deep roots there. Yeah? UConn? Uh, oh, is that where no, your uh, my cousin mom. is playing? Oh, no, yeah, my mom's right. from that's Connecticut, right. so yeah, anytime right. they're decent, I I always pick them to win. They what about the women? Year, you you pick them? What's that? You pick the women to win? Past like 10 years? Uh, I have not done a women's bracket yet. They were dominant on the women's side, right? Didn't UConn win? Yeah. Them? Oh, yeah. I think they're the first school to ever have a men's and women's program win the, the same, same year. year. And that was when uh, Kemba Walker Kemba was there. Kemba Walker went off. He just put that, that was, team on his back. That was insane. That, that March Madness run was insane. Yeah. yeah um, NC State for it all. Rosie, he disagrees with you. The doctor. I didn't say NC State. Did you say all right, I think he's just picking and you said that's lame oh. that you didn't. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Black Mamba. Yeah, that's kind of lame. I didn't do it. Welcome in. Miles and Chase and Trying Came creeping up on Trevor and Theo in the Olympics. Well, Trying Came, not so much. They got a, they got some ways to go. But Miles and Chase is a huge, yeah. uh, I mean, that's a huge step for them. It's it definitely gonna, went into the. It's going to um, come down to the last tournament. The last tournament? You calling it here? Oh, yeah. Always does. Every okay. year. Right. I know it does. Uh, as long as it does. Hey, been going where's our camera? Hey, you let yeah. us know. You let us know. <laughs> Alex CJ. Does it come down to the last tournament? This will be on Instagram. Let us know down below in the comments. Perfect. One Instagram done. That's how it works. There we Another go. <laughs> subscriber there, Alex yeah. CJ. Alex CJ. And they got the Alex three Jordan, months huh? in advance. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, Alex. Alex Jordan? My guy. This is Alex. You know Alex. Both of you guys know Alex. Q. Oh, Q Alex. Yeah. What's up, Alex? Who we went golfing with. You've known Alex Jordan. You've met him. Yeah. You had to. Right, Alex? You met Rosie? Yeah. When did From he where? meet you? Houston? Yeah, Houston. Q. He was out here with Q. Yeah. White guy. Hangs out with Q. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, thank you, dude, shoot. for the three months. Welcome in. Dude, Lindsay and I went to the USA versus Mexico. Soccer match last night at Cowboy Stadium, and it was nice. I bet Cowboy Stadium would just be. I haven't been yet. Have you guys been for any event? No, nope, no. Nope. Cowboys. I have not. And our first gifted, Zach first a. Gifted, gifted subs to Cali Bear. Welcome in. You are now officially a part of the right side. Love it. Cali Bear has gift or uh, Zach Antwack has gifted you a sub, Cali Bear. How about that? Is that the first gifted sub we've had? It is. He's leading up top. Besides this cool <laughs> new, uh, I guess I'm saying format, what do you think would bring more viewership to the AVP? Betting? No. I don't think betting. Uh, I don't think we could do much betting right now. There's not enough I mean, There's not enough player salaries. To, no, and you could uh, be, incorporate oh, betting. Yeah, you'd be throwing right. games to make money. Right, right. I would throw a game. But... Yeah. Hey, you want? <laughs> I'll bet twenty grand that I'm gonna lose this game. Where if I win it, I'm only gonna make another five hundred. So yeah, that's true. Um, Cali Bear, I I have an interesting view, I guess, on it. I would say we need to elevate the viewing experience, and 
that would mean having a way so in the, in the same way now that we're selling all these tickets why would we have you know these teams you know who just come after you and they're like well i got to pay 32 dollars just to watch tea crabs i'm mm-hmm. in i'm in town i only care about you yeah then you have teams that are the lifers that love volleyball so much they'll be at the event no matter what and they're like holy cow i got this for 32 bucks but those people who get that viewing experience, if I could pay 50 and I got seats and those are my seats, I can come at 9 a.m. when you play. And if yeah. I leave and we go hang out because I only care about watching you, then I can come back. And if there's people in my seats, I could be like, get up. And then they could sit in the whole time. But to go back and, oh, do I stay for it? Do I go get food? Do I go to the bathroom because I'm going to lose my seat because it's all this GA? I really think if you elevate the viewing experience and create it more like, these other sporting events then it gives you a reason to really you know like it makes it more exciting like oh yeah you 32 bucks guys you get way more than 32 dollars worth of all free stuff that you go through sponsor village so like the 32 is so cheap i think uh so along with that that's what they're trying to do with all the indoor events with it only being one game a day so you know who's playing you know what time and if you're not someone who likes this sit around and wait all day yeah you come in my it's the women's match and then the men's match and you know Mm -hmm. who's playing you want to come watch buy the ticket that day and it's gonna be an intense game we're only playing one game and it matters a lot in that last league part so would would you you would play and the girls team would play yeah because you guys are like on the same team or whatever Right. right yeah and it's and only then, one match that weekend for us. And then the next day is another match between the teams. Yeah, I think wow. if you, like, King of the Court, their live viewing experience is, well, for me, not playing in, like, Vienna and Stad and all that other stuff. Just that experience in itself is the best form I've ever seen. It's high intensity. It, the moment the athletes stop, the DJ's playing great music. They're breaking the barrier of letting the crowd be comfortable. They're getting them to talk. They're getting them to cheer. They're getting to interact with the people. And if you just want to come for the night game, you can just come to that because that's the prime time when you'd have maybe the Mullen Sorum play. Mm-hmm. But during the day, it's the same intensity from night at night versus your 8 a.m. game. And they don't have a ADM games, but like, I think the AVP caters more like this is the 17th seed versus the one seed. So we'll barely even have a DJ playing. We'll barely do anything. But what if you just did it? This is volleyball. And so our lifers, let's blow our mind. Let's not slowly ramp up the day towards the night game. Let's you get one game, one chance to make ESPN. Let's make it the best ever. Even if you have the 16th seed against the one seed. Yeah. So, I just think that to elevate the viewing experience, get people involved, get people cheering, get people to be there. And the money is great, but if you don't want to show up for the whole day, that's great. But you're going to pay more because you, you want those seats reserved. They're going to pay more versus Club AVP and just an entry. I think it's a huge step in the right direction to do all this. But you need something to tie in these viewers, to tie in the fans. That's what they have with the court side around the... Mm-hmm. But around you, the stadium court but that's so that's so much money compared to your like free admission right we did no admission yeah so if you do want to go to the box people now go half in they're like we all bought a box and we're gonna do that but again it's still the same old volleyball yeah you're like i still have to watch boring volleyball it's like no who cares if we have to have six djs because one gets tired let's do that <laughs> if we have three mcs because one gets tired that's okay because you will get tired. We're all humans. And yeah. DJ three days and straight of all day is a lot for Mark, for everybody. And you can tell that they're is. like they're definitely uh um they're definitely like trying, but they're mm, human yeah. and they can't they can't do it. Yeah. I think what's so cool about the Euros is they're just a little bit more passionate, they're more okay to like cheer and have fun and talk. We're a little bit more reserved, but as soon as we break that barrier down and you get an excuse to cheer, we'll cheer at anything. You know, yeah. if we got our 21st Street 
crew to have a few beers, we could go to a Little League game and <laughs> it would be like the World Series. Yeah. <laughs> because we're going there, you know, and I think Europe does a way better job of breaking down those barriers. We got some uh, bits in the chat. This is the Twitch currency. Yeah, what are these bits? Bits. Aloha 808. The, I think, one bit um, is, I'm not sure exactly the equivalent of what it is, um, but I'm pretty so, sure one bit is one cent. Got it. So thanks for the bits. Aloha. Thank Alex you, Jones Aloha. has not met you. Or Alex uh, Jordan, sorry. But he's, he's the chipping guy on 17. That Where's he that is. From? You want to tell the story? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to guess that's from Trump. Yeah, on, on baby. Trump. We were, <laughs> to win the match. Come to on, win player. the match. Q and I were down, I think, three or four going into the last three or four. And then we won those two and leading up to 17. It was a par three yeah. on 17. Yeah, uh, when, like, I stink it to the green. So we have a chance. And he was short left of the green. Alex yeah, was. Yeah, Alex was short, but on the fringe. And yeah. then he had to ruin the whole day by chipping it in. I don't yeah, maybe that's, that's, that's right. maybe I that's what that's happened. Ruining it. <laughs> nice work, Alex. I guess we're gonna have to get out it there. Was, it was a hell of a chip. Yeah. No. Uh, if you were coming to Houston this weekend, and get some Who's golf. Say, but, uh, we need a coach. Alex and um, his wife are coming out for the league, the LA event. The oh, um, awesome. I think so. It's the either the San Diego or the LA. So. Um, we have, as I was going on my long talk, we have a bunch of people, uh, questioning, do we know if it's, uh, partnered with ESPN, Dr. Jones? Uh, I do not know what the stream will be this year. Uh, I will hopefully, hopefully find out on Wednesday when I have my meeting with, with them. Mm. So hopefully learn more about that part too. All right. We'll, we'll get that answer for you. We have... Ouch. Uh, Zach ain't whack. I feel like the issue that's there. Oh, hang on. Kind of a big gap between the top teams and everyone else. So it's high odds that you go to a match and it's a blowout. Or is it going to be level? Well, the, yeah, it'll mm-hmm. bring everybody there. But even you're still going to have a big gap between the top four and five. And that the six, seven, eight. At least on the men's yeah. side. Could be... Uh... I yeah. mean, there's it'll be there's no like easy matches out there even when even when one's playing 16 it's not like a, a definitely definitely even before but yeah i mean eight through 16 all have basically full-time jobs i mean it might be coaching full-time it might be running a stream or whatever like yes yeah. uh there's you know they're not able to practice as much as taylor is and train as much and all that, you know, if if, mm-hmm. if we had 40 players per gender making 50 grand plus a year, our product's going to get better. You're going to have better games throughout the whole tournament. So that's hopefully where we're headed and, you know, can move that direction. And, and we're going to get our, you know, our qualifiers, better players and just all around. I think our women are going to be really good for a long time. I think it's so even yeah. before... It starts with the juniors and the. Is it still there? The. uh, Right by it's closing closer to the college level. Yeah, I got it. You see, (laughs) now the the women's side is growing. They're getting better and better all the way down. Mm -hmm. But the men are staying the same because we're not getting better at a younger age. So there's these newer guys aren't getting the training that these college women are. So now. These girls out of college are unbelievable already. Yeah, and it forces you to train at that level. Yeah. Like, you see the women, and they have to play with that intensity. They have to train that much. And they also have come with this, like, fire of this kind of biological clock that, you know, that they put on themselves if they want to get married and have kids. Whereas guys... You know, there's a lot of us, it's like, okay, I could work a full-time job and play this during the summer and still take a fifth. Mm -hmm. It's like, until that becomes where it's slowly pushing them out, I think the women will just keep surpassing the men. And that's great. I hope the women bring in sponsors. I hope we watch them dominate and and all that stuff because it's only going to push the men more. It's not going to take us away. 
Uh, you got you guys played in Fuds. We sure yeah. did. Fuds is is a great time. Do we do a right side team maybe in the fall? Ooh, oh. we could win that one. And then we could watch that one. Huh? <laughs> Let's watch it. Oh, win, we go. baby. Uh, we're we're trying to uh, get to all these comments here, so please stay patient with us. Um, speaking of fuds, it's uh, popular because everybody has an, uh, gets hammered. Nineties volleyball had Miller and tequila sponsors just turn an excuse to drink, like March Madness and every other sports outlet. I'm with you. <laughs> that would be really cool. Again, volleyball forty five minutes is a game. So if we use Manhattan, you're going to walk all the way out to the court nine, walk all the way back in the sand. Where does your beverage come from? How do you, like, you're only going to be handcuffed to those three courts, stadium, court one, and court two. Mm. And you just cycle through that. And that's fine, but let's only have those three courts. Let's pack the house. Let's make it a huge stadium, and then you bring people in. Let's stop this whole Olympic warm-up, and let's just play. Let's just play volleyball. Warm-up beforehand. Get all those courts to just warm us up, and then you got five minutes the moment you step on the sand. Well, when you're playing in a place that only has three courts and doesn't have sand anywhere else mm-hmm. or anything, where do we get our warm up? Like, yeah, I mean, it's, we it's just it, gonna but, player tent kind of moving around and get like no ball touch warm up. Well, yeah, you got to have a warm up court. Boom. Yeah, you got to have a warm up court. But okay. you're creating that instead of having like 14 courts and all this other stuff. Just hey, guys, it's all about a show. It's, yeah. it's, we want you to play right because you're the player. Without you, there is no show. But the rhythm, the rhyme, everything of all that, and it's when it is only 45 minutes, it's so hard to be like, okay, well, where do I go now? And so Manhattan, you see, let's go to Shellback. Taylor, Taylor has to play again. And so these local ones have that still old school feel. Yeah. But when you're in Phoenix and you don't know where to go and you're kind of there and 45 minutes, you know, like 45 minutes is nothing. You show up 15 minutes late to an AVP game, and you're like, I missed the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But again, those ones in Phoenix and those places also, they have a beer garden there. So you can Mm -hmm. go get your beers there and hang out there. Yeah, You can't do that on the beach publicly. But for me, Taylor, you, when we're playing locals down there, I guess a lot of people are locals down there, but all of our friends there to watch, they exactly, they know to go up to Sharky's in Hermosa or Shellback in Manhattan. Yeah to have their drinks between games they know when our matches are um and yeah they're still gonna watch other games too but they know if they have two hour break they're gonna be up there for an hour hour and a half oh yeah and so. it, it's it, it's tough it's tough to be the volleyball fan of everybody yeah and that's almost like you know if you're a golf fan you're like golf's a lot more fun to just watch on tv because i is. can be everywhere at once yeah you go to one, you're like, you better be following the guy that you love, or you better have a suite, and then you're getting the beverages, and you're having a great time, and that's why waste management is so fun. But that's why I think the league part's going to be good, where it's only mm-hmm. two games. Yeah. So come before tailgate it. Yeah. Get hammered before. <laughs> Absolutely. Show up inside all rowdy, and let's get her going. And I think, uh, you know, I think the AVP, they we need big title sponsor like this Huntington tournament coming up in what a month or so. It shouldn't be AVP Huntington Beach. It should be the AVP Dukes. Huntington Beach presented by. What we're about to see here is the yeah. match that we were well, set this to watch. Is, uh, is by I think the Crocs tour. I think we're a Crocs tour. AVP Huntington Beach Crocs or Crocs tour or whatever it is. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's good. And then we have Miller Lite and mm-hmm. it's great Crocs and all back. that. Crocs. Uh, it's it's kind of something to be a. I mean, that title sponsor, when it's the main thing, ABP Manhattan Beach presented by Chase Bank or, yeah. you know, whatever it might be. All of a sudden, you know, this title sponsor, to be that title, is going to be paying $5 million a year. There is no loss in money if if we have that. Mm-hmm. That's true. And Crocs was paying something like that back then. And then yeah. we had, you know, we still had Cuervo. We still had whatever. So, like, all of a sudden, Leonard Amato was making money back then. Mm-hmm. And... We are up to 18 tournaments and yeah, whatever. So. Well, we got some uh, we got some things to catch up on here, as I paused our chat so we could hit everybody. Um, let's welcome in. We got uh, EQ Media. We got Aloha 808 with more biddies. Wow, more biddies, biddies. Doctor Jones with the bits, big old biddies, and Quan <laughs> Chingu, Quan Quan Chingu. 
Welcome in. Uh, thank you, thank you so sub. much for the tier one sub. Yeah, all right. Love wow. I'm a sub. Thank you. We cannot thank you guys enough for the subs. It's truly something fun for me to share with these guys that uh, this whole sub, sub yeah, thing and yeah. bits. Yeah, and to finally, hit, uh, to finally hit affiliate and to do it. Thank you guys uh, so much for the, for the love and the bits. We're going to try to get to everybody's questions since we got them flowing in here. Um, EQ Media had, with the AVP traveling as much as it does, it would be very cool to have a locals, announcers, and personalities attend the AVP and make it more of a local event. Oh, on top of what it already is. You think that would be cool to have I think at least somebody help. locally? Yeah, that would help. So Mark doesn't have to do it three days, every day, all day. You get the local guy to come in for, you know, three hours, four hours a day, or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. Help out with Mark. He could bring his crew from there in. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, not. yeah, I think it's not having the idea. professionalism of Mark and like a geeter. That's the main. Yeah. That's yeah. the main. But this just a. What if you had it on like the outer courts? Like I think of Atlanta, like Mark and everything inside is in that big old stadium. Mm -hmm. But there's so many courts that it could be fun to have people. Or even if this, the beer guard was like hyped up, kind of how we do with the Ooh. SOBs. Like if yeah. you had. You know, if I wasn't playing and you, my job was to hype everybody up, that'd be a blast. But you get me like in Atlanta in that little place, and instead of everybody just hiding under the shade, what if you had somebody just like, let, like just make it as fun as possible and just let's go? I like the sound of that. You sure you want to play? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, guys. I, I always go, said I've, I've told the beer cartons. I've told everybody <laughs> that. Uh, I mean, Casey knows this because I talked to Casey about it. But as soon as I'm done playing, like I could make beach volleyball more money not playing. Yeah. And I could make more money as Troy Field not playing. But still being around beach volleyball mm -hmm. than playing. And it's just so sad that. Yeah, you want to play. For well, sure. I want to play. Like I feel like I'm playing my best volleyball right now. And it's like, well, what's the motivation? What's the drive? And I always say that. You people in the chat and the the opportunity and the potential of beach volleyball is my drive because we know it could be big. It could be the biggest, you know, just up there with all the other ones. And it could be a blast. But we just are we'll once we there. once we get a system in, we'll be good to go. But, but I like that. I like the bringing at least somebody local, local sponsor, or local yeah. any, anything. I would like even a simple one. It's just what if we all just paired with any beach club that was in the area and a few athletes came down and spent time with them and that whatever, maybe they got free admission or we give away a whole thing. And because you saw a member in Mojo, there's so many clubs there, like so mm -hmm. many club teams all for this indoor. And that'd be cool. I'll give you guys a reason or extra credit. What if a school is like, hey, I'll give you extra credit if you go to the AVP today. One day, and we get people in to just try to see it. I don't know. Like, there's, there's definitely possibilities are endless. Yeah, but all the free stuff and sponsor village. I know that I could have used that extra credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> needed a few little bumps, <laughs> bumping the pay grade. Uh, if we missed your question, please ask it again. We're slowly working our way down, uh, but we have JRH twenty one USA with the first time chat. Welcome in. Do you think on an Olympic level? And the U.S. Wait, hang on. Do I have to pre-read this? Do you think on a yeah. Olympic level, and the U.S.A. men are searching for medals, that player should be able to choose their own partners, or should it be up to the association to choose the teams? I think it's going to be a unanimous decision. I yeah. think it should be up to the player, but I think U.S.A. needs to support it more support it more as in who you want to play with no just support the teams more oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a yeah it's a tricky and then like this there you are ah trying to figure this mic thing out um, angle it back into your there we are bang a ring bang a ring um, Voss can't make it Dern so, we like um, that guy. He's a he's a he's a dope guy. Who's that? Guillermo Voss. But back to this. Oh yeah, yeah. The USA wanted to be. Yeah. You want them more involved in the partnerships? 
not picking not picking but supporting but yeah supporting uh i'll give the example uh i asked phil to play and i went to usa and i said hey i'll move to florida but we need support out there you know he's not going to move back to california uh, we don't have a gym out there you did this when yeah uh <laughs> time doesn't say? matter <laughs> okay <laughs> anyways uh, uh <laughs> Yesterday. Anyways, they small long story short, they shot down every single way to help support us out there. And what do crazy. you think would be the, the reason? Like, what is a reason that you would have been like, okay, I see that? Because USA Volleyball the, wants to. They don't want to see spend, what's going on, or they don't want to spend more money. Then and Phil to. and I, Phil has zero international points now. Yeah. Um. So we're not in the category of getting the support. So they didn't want to have to spend the extra amount of dollars to support us. Hmm. Is basically the reason. How did, well, Great decision. How does, <laughs> yeah. How's it working out for you? <laughs> um, yeah. I'd be curious to, to see like how they generate money. If you and Phil do well, is there some sort of like USA volleyball thing that they now make money or... Well, no, the USA Volleyball, they only uh, make money at the junior level. You know, I wonder if you, probably more Phil, in this case, can go straight behind USA Volleyball's back to the U.S. Olympic Committee, because that's where a majority of USA Volleyball's money comes from. Yeah. I wonder if they could have went you know, straight to them. I mean, it's too late now, I'm yeah. sure. But, you know, this U.S. Olympic Committee is where the money comes from, a majority of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, that's it's crazy. Um, you know, I've been around volleyball for a while, and I feel like there's been a lot of just from AVP to USA Volleyball, just poor decision after poor decision after poor decision. And it's like, why don't they ever come as a group and players come together and talk it out? What's going to work best? What can what can we do to help you? Or yeah, let's let's work together on this. Let's. They just keep people behind desks and whatever, just making these decisions and mm -hmm. rules and funding and this and that, and not even asking anybody what well, would be Well, and best. that's where I'm at, and you guys have heard me say this, but, like, just logic seems to be all out the window, but then communication is, is as well something that if we know where the money's going, we're a lot more inclined to make, to spend the money. I've said that so many times. Even you guys have heard me say this, but... That's why I asked about the answer. Like if they would have given you an answer mm -hmm. and it would have been like, okay, I understand that. That's all we're asking okay. in the sport of beach volleyball. It's like, hey, why don't we do this? Well, we're going to do this instead. Well, why are we doing that? And it's like, well, who's asking the whys in beach volleyball? And what's our need? And, you know, all these people are here and they all love, love volleyball and they want to help. And so that's where talking with you and the beach volleyball community and hearing from your lens helps me and helped us create this channel mm -hmm. and try to solve these problems. But should it come from me and should it come from Taylor Crab and should it come from you? Absolutely not. I would way rather have you. It's like, oh, we have a platform for Rosie to come in and bring people. Let's bring the Raiders back. He's going to come commentate. Or when you went on Manhattan and you just did Skyballs, like that was so fun and that was so last minute. And you were just like, okay, I'll do it. Yeah. But I just think decisions on why don't that why doesn't get answered. And then we kind of just, oh, but we're going to try this. And it's like, well, that's not what we need to try. It's like that, that's not the, the biggest thing. And I just find it's hard that we keep putting energy and money into things that if you were to ask the fans or the volleyball community, like, well, didn't really care about that, but it's cool. Like the league thing, like awesome. But why? What's going on? Like, what's the purpose? And it's like, okay, well, mm -hmm. if we're 10 years down the road, then it's like 10 years down the road. So wh why are you putting all the ath these athletes handcuffing them? It's like, okay, well, then do this with the next people. But you have all the, I don't know, it's so well, hard. It's but like, the owners lasted 10 years in the last. Yeah. <laughs> Not many. Yeah. yeah. But like, what's their objective? Because it seemed like Bally's, the objective was from talking to... They just wanted to own Josh. another asset. 
but it was like okay they yeah. if you're a, a little bit over budget we're gonna have to hound you and you're gonna have to talk to us and explain why it's like well it was your objective to make money and to profit because then we're have to have no, a different they, talk they didn't need to yeah, that they, was the problem. They're just one of their divisions to where, yeah, I mean, that just, $4 million they lost that's is, why it's a, good that's thing a write-off that, for that the this, overall values anyway. This private equity group that came in and bought half, they're in it to try to turn it around and, and make it profitable. So, yeah. But still have kind of the backing of that big corporation money in case as, as a help yeah. or as a... Right. You know, I never even met anybody from Bally's. Did anybody from Bally's ever go to any of them? Mm-hmm. The, they did? The first one I met a couple when okay. it was uh, that's good, but so it was, it was the just, Chicago of 2021 the before they came in in oh, before there 2022, that whole time, yeah. And everything had great, like, every explanation was right on. Is okay, we this whole year is building analytics, we're trying to build analytics for betting and to institute sports betting later on. But the reason why we're not doing it now is because we need to build this. Analytics, it's like, okay, so 2022 was just all acquiring knowledge about the sport to end up betting. And then why are, why did we go to ESPN and not do YouTube? Okay, well, YouTube, it's hard to track the different subscribers and users. Is this somebody that's, you know, in our chat? Is this somebody that's here? And kind of like these, you know, are people that have been with us for the, for the longest time. Zach Ain't Whack, Aloha 808, these people that we keep seeing. It was tough to see the analytics there. So that, but everything had an explanation and then things started to go like, well, are they not sports betting? And then nobody gave an answer. Uh, what are we going to do here? No answer. Gold series. And, and it's like, Bally's had it. But from what I knew is that it went from that team with sports betting to everybody got fired and they got transferred to another part of Bally's and then it got transferred to another part of Bally's. And then this last one, 2023, they were like, or 2022, I think the end, just in that whole year, it got traded to like four or five different departments in Bally's. And they're like, why do we have you guys? Yeah. Why do we own you? And so everybody who built something in 2021 and 22, the beginning of that year, all went out the window. And then you're kind of receiving a product and being like, well, I would have done it differently. I would have done this. And that's where you have this year. So it's like, we just lost two years trying to build analytics and do it, create this whole thing. But none yeah. of that gets communicated. And the fans who are actually paying money and doing all this different stuff, your first update is like, well, you got to pay for this year. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's just like, yeah, if I'm an owner and I come in and buy it, like this new group, I hope they show up to every event and maybe get the players together at least one to five times a year. And just the day before the tournament, hey, this is a mandatory meeting for at least one of the two players on the team. Mm -hmm. Come to this meeting, seven o'clock at night, the day before the tournament, whatever it is, and just yeah. talk it out, see what's going on, what. What can we do to help you? What, you know, how can we do this together and yeah. build it? And, and if you're showing your face there and you're you're there and you're showing you care about it, that's going to help a lot. Um, yeah, and we're asking for, we'll do stuff for free. And we'll be able to answer the whys. Yeah, but I want to have wise. everybody in the front line talking about this. Like, I want to have you from somebody who's won many times this past year. Like, mm -hmm. you're going to be making my, my Sundays. Okay, let's talk to... Uh, and again, everything's equivalent, uh, or sorry, the same for men and women. I'm just using you guys as an example. Yeah, but they did that this year. But then let's have that. Let's have the meeting. qualify person. Let's have everybody who's going to be at this event from qualifier to volunteer to this. And then, but especially the players. But if you can attack all of those, then you get everybody's perspective and lens. I know the biggest thing was like, why does the qualifier teams have to play first round in the morning? And it's like, okay, that's a great question because if we could change that, wouldn't you want to help them out? They just played the day before and now they got to play the one seed. Or is your view, well, don't be in the qualifier, you know, either or. But if there's a way to go around it, it's like, actually, we can't because this game needs to move here and we got TV here and we got to do this. And you had all these answers. Then the person's like, bing, bang, boom. I mean, you can maybe switch it one hour later or something. Yeah. Uh, Timing wise, yeah. Yeah. They if don't get to choose. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> It's just one of those they, things that if they, things if the things only have an thing answer, they need to do is not them is AVP needs to be putting 
the best teams, the best players that people want to watch on stadium court so that you're getting the viewership. I'm, I'm tired of down. watching Stop. the stream yeah. and seeing three people in the stands because yeah. they have the 12th seed versus the whatever seed. And well, you and Trev no, are on court one in exa- Manhattan. Yeah, that makes no sense from a business standpoint. Yeah. Let's have but. Rafa Nadal and Roger Federer. <laughs> Out on one of those outer courts <laughs> because everything's equal and everything. And not saying that everything's equal is the problem. It's just if we have more views and more, generate more money from your game and you already know that that's going to go to the whole sport, let's have you. I don't care if it's yeah. April and Alex every time. I don't care if it's you and Tay Tay. I don't, I don't care who it is. Mm-hmm. Get them on the stadium to watch the stands. It's not like, ooh, it's about fair and this. And <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's going to grow the sport. Yeah. Because if it was about fair, we'd be seeing it in other sports. What beach volleyball has going for as far as fairness, and I think this is amazing, and is that we've been split prize money, and we paid men equal mm-hmm. and women equal. Yeah. And generating views and generating fans. I mean, you might not agree with that, Rosie, but in a Why? time now. Well, I'm just saying with like it was, you, it was you, equal. My whole time. Oh, the whole time? That's even better. Well, I mean, Leonard bought it in 2002, I believe, or mm-hmm. 2001 when the, and he and Holly were together, and that's when it became yeah, all under one. Before that, it was the WPBA for the women and the AVP for the men. Mm-hmm. Scroll up a little bit. Yeah, gotcha. Right there. First time chatter. A. Aguilar, Antoine Aguilar, baby. Antoine. My boy Vegas from Vegas. Needs a little love, huh? Uh, did you just meet up with this guy? A couple I did. Days he, ago? Uh, yeah, a couple days ago. I was in Vegas and uh, we had a pretty good time. Heck yeah. He was my uh, college teammate at Long Beach. Oh, Welcome nice, in, nice. Antoine. Thanks so much for coming in the stream, checking us out. We got us some first timers, a bunch of first timers here in here. Uh, we'll go, it's me, Colin. Welcome in with the tier one sub, baby. Ooh, all right. Thank you, Colin. Colin, there thanks so much, brother. You're the best. And does that mean no swirly for him? Is that who that yeah, was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zach, uh, Zach wanted to give you a swirly. And we got you down for six months. Six Ooh. months. Ooh, Zach only did like two, I think. So <laughs> you're way better than Zach. Zach might get the swirly now. We have, uh, what is that? Christine? Christine? Christine. Yeah, Christine Rome. works, I think. Rome ESPN Christine. was so hard to find. Volleyball streams and coverage was so limited. I agree. I'm with you there. Yep. Uh, nobody really goes on ESPN to l- scroll through what to watch. <laughs> I just remember I was like, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. It was, like, it was Saturday and it was college football, dude. We were the last. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Ravi Kavis, welcome in. You, got us, you hit us with the sub. Before you even subbed, or sorry, you hit us with a sub before you even chatted in the stream. That's Thank crazy. you, Robbie. Robbie. Very nice. You're in Kentucky, so normally not an event I get to go to, so I rely on the stream. This really sucked recently. I really like the VBTV. Me too, and a, a cool thing for volleyball, as we are still volleyball fans, even though we're all volleyball athletes, is that VBTV is doing that college tournament at LSU, and they're going to be streaming it. Mark is going to be emceeing it. This event's flying down Kyle Friend and another broadcaster. Oh, Rich. Richie Lamborn. Richie the Lamb. Um, Very nice. nice. So you're flying down two on-sand commentators. You got BBTV streaming it, and you have an MC that does a great job. What is this? LSU is putting on some showcase or college tournament. So Nice. that'll uh, That'll be really cool to see, and just hopefully BBTV does well, and... Again, we can't say this enough, but this channel, The Right Side, is here to tap you into Hermosa Beach, all these exhibitions, all these practices, all these competitive games, so you don't have to wait until Huntington Beach or wait until Manhattan Beach to uh, watch your favorite players play. Correct. Fantasy Guru, you caught us live. Welcome in. Happy you're here. I know uh, Aloha will get you. Well, hopefully we'll get a UH... Uh, tournament again, or UH? Sorry, uh, Hawaii tournament. Yeah, maybe in the uh, winter. Ooh. More to come on that. Okay, stay tuned. T Krabs is our uh, little spy. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. our 007. Little the weasel. <laughs> the Dino in Kauai is not too far away. 
That's true. I'll, that's be going, I mean. I'll be going to Kauai next month to play in the dino, the dinosaur. That's a great term. You'll see a lot of uh, retired players there. You'll see a lot of current players. Yeah. And you'll see a lot of other just good volleyball player um, and just having a good players time. Players for fun, <laughs> yeah. Having a good time on uh, Kauai. Maybe out too good of a time. Beach. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but, a your, but your camera phone's away, everybody. Yeah. No phones allowed on Kauai for the week. That's, that's <laughs> another thing. in Kauai? <laughs> yeah. It stays in Kauai. <laughs> The Calipati going back to like beach. the partying and the you know people talk about the old school volleyball right, but there wasn't a lot of camera phones back in the day, so if you were burying kegs and pulling out things and like all that stuff wasn't on the web that could be accessed right then and there like mm-hmm. yeah it eventually got everything but even when the stream was there and even in this game two thousand five like nobody has internet tapped into your fingertips that we do now like if I was to capture something i could get a 4k video of one of us doing something dumb mm-hmm. and it, elim- it eliminates the players mm-hmm. doing dumb things yeah we've all been there we've all had that talk with each other where it's like hey you're done <laughs> you're done time I, to leave i probably did something a little dumb after this finals yeah. and out at night and it's <laughs> sunday night in huntington beach yeah. and nobody would know well, i might have drove home first and then maybe did something dumb in hermosa or i might have did yeah Went out, but I'm sure I went to the bar after this. I mean, yeah. this is fourth, fifth, sixth final, whatever it was. Stop it. There was a a story where you saying with like Larry Witt when you guys were the number one seed, and we're just about to watch Larry Witt. <laughs> you talked to me because yeah. I had one tournament where I was the one seed, and you were just like, "It's a curse." <laughs> what being the one seed for the first time ever and going uno dos? <laughs> yeah, that's it. What's wrong with that? And where did you find? <laughs> Where did you find yourself, or where did you find Larry? Uh, up on stage. <laughs> up on stage with a bucket full of beer, just <laughs> cursing out our guy here, Karch and Kevin Wong, and anybody else that played on stage court. And trying to tell me to get him off stage. I'm like, hey. As he should. You know, I didn't feed him all those oh. beers. I fed him his first two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Larry, we thought you could handle it. It's all right. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, for this match we're gonna watch. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Larry Witt was, he was a great player. I was I was with him from oh three, oh four, and oh five, and um, God, what like I swear if he stuck with it and really like needed it or maybe really needed that want or wanted it or something, mm-hmm. he could have been one of the. He's very similar to like Jake, like a right sider, yeah, really very strong mentally. Uh, Great shots, great high hit. He just didn't want to be a full time blocker. Yeah, and he's great at defense too. So like it was hard to. So we split block all the time. But do we watch this match or we yeah. keep? Let's go. I'm ready to I watch. I think we gotta go. We've been uh, streaming for an hour, and that's okay. just. It's what happens when you guys go. You go for Vegas. I did this. You got sick. You yeah. know, it's the people need I'm us. Still recovering yeah. weekly. Antoine, it's all your fault. <laughs> Antoine, we love you. I think the right side comes to Vegas. Put the phones away. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, maybe even get the phones and we get we go viral. Yes. That'd be outstanding. Well, I just wanted to uh, shout out to Beach Inside. First time chatting. First Welcome time. in. And then we got uh, Pano. Wait. By one? OB1. OB1. Pano. Pan OB1. Pan OB1. There we go. Nice. Sorry, when guys. will you see me compete on the FIVB again? Uh, not sure. Sometime this year, though. Later on. He's got to keep his points up. Yeah. Whether he's pushing for the Olympics was or not. Was any of the like, New Zealand points up. tournaments that you played, was that for international points at all? No. Well, you, that's, you actually get international points for playing in their domestic tour. Do you really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about playing in our domestic tour? They're trying to, to work for that. I mean, we have the best domestic I tour mean, in the world. I mean, super... Minimal points, obviously, mm-hmm. but what was crazy is if yeah. Ian and I did one place better when we played in New Zealand, mm-hmm. that Huntington AVP event, it would have given us one FIVB point each. No way. And we actually would have been ahead of Maddie and Riley, would have been at, like, because they had to use USA points. Yeah. But we didn't. <laughs> Or it was like the one tournament we didn't do well in. It was like yeah. Mount Manganui or something like that, and we didn't do well. And it would have gave you one point. One point, and that's which would have been main draw. Like- <laughs> I would have been ahead of Ty Loomis. I would have been ahead of everybody. Oh, and I was like, fine. oh. So I played with Bobby Jacobs. 
and we lost to Dr. Vj Vandermeer. You know who I played first round was a uh, Deme and Deme. Uh, and Cookie. No, the little. Oh, uh, oh my gosh, I mean it, he he won't ever watch this, but he'll hate that I forgot his name. This little like fiery Hispanic guy that I think his last Jorge? name started with an A. No, not Jorge. I know him. Oh, Paul okay. Ariza. Nope. Keep Eva going. Spina. Keep going. Nope. He was kind of like one of those guys who would like smoke a dart in between. Like it's kind of like a Dana Camacho esque. Art. Art Baron. Art Baron. Art Baron. There he is. Art Started with an A. I knew it. Art. How did you get it from the smoking a cigarette in between games? Come on, he's done it before, right? <laughs> That's just a wild guess. <laughs> oh, Art man. Baron. I, played, I used to play against Art, and I mean we've played against each other all the way since yeah, the mid nine, mid to late nineties. <laughs> yeah, which is crazy because we're both still so young. <laughs> and then uh lost to dr and i think it was uh spencer Sauter, but played well enough that dr agreed to play with me in austin the next tournament nice and we uh did pretty well in that one for our you know being out of the qualifier i would take that one all day so speaking of larry witt great transition in here yeah welcome in everybody again but we are going to go ahead and let's see if Troy did this right with his little. Ooh. Nope. Oh, wait. Bang. There we are. This is the first time that Rosie and uh, Tay can't see it, but we are our little box now. Perfect. We got our box. Oh, we, get, we just get the full screen. Of you just get the full screen. That's perfect. That's fine. I don't need to see me. Yeah. All right. So we. Uh, this is really cool. Obviously, you were watching this game with somebody who's been <laughs> who's played in this game, which is such a cool experience. But again, 2005 Huntington Beach Open Men's Finals. Who did you and Larry play in the semis to get to this position? Uh, well, the number one team that year was Jake Gibb and Stein Metzger. So I'm assuming one of us to beat them. Mm. Um, and... I'm going to guess Karch beat them, and I'm going to think that we beat Dax Holdren and Jeff Nygaard would be my guess. But I don't know. Don't know. Okay. No. All right. I'm sure it'll, it'll, <laughs> Somebody maybe will it'll show look it up. I'm sure it'll share. That down yeah. Here. yeah, yeah uh, if you guys will, know actually. in the chat, let us know down here. I, we could just watch everything, right? Yeah, it'd because it's pretty cool. Like, we got to see. They're coming out on cars and yeah, I mean, the whole show. Again, we are playing in Huntington. Yeah. Yeah, so this year, Taylor and I will be competing in Huntington. If it doesn't look like this, no, I don't <laughs> I'm turning around. This was the hands down probably the coolest uh, walk up. Yeah, it was really cool. And the the tour leader, whoever led in points at the end of the year, got a car. Oh yeah, I think it was a lease for like a year or two or something. Then you just buy a car. Come they on. used to do that a bunch, right? That'd be sick. And Jake yeah. had the Mini Cooper for from from this from this year. Oh really? Really? Yeah. No way. He had what? it all. No, he had it till oh. about four years ago. Oh, but, no, he, no, no. He, but he said he just never returned it. No way. <laughs> he kept it like two years longer than no, he should have. Maybe. <laughs> Jake's always, always got a like deal. <laughs> He's a deal guy. <laughs> Finagle in there yeah. somewhere. Yeah, it's pretty cool being sponsored by a truck out there and. You know, can't call it out. See, they they Look brought them out first. That means we're the higher seed. A couple Ooh. young bucks. <laughs> How old uh, were you guys here? This is 05. Uh, I think I was 24. Larry was probably 25. I guess they're going to spell that. Karchi, 44. 44. It's impressive. Sorry. Taylor's got. Wow, Lam Lambo, this guy was a beast. This guy's arms and shoulders are super wide and long, and that guy can block. And he had a just absolute cannon. Lambo. He was all time. He was taller than 6'6", six, six, right? He was mm -hmm. a really tall 6'6", six, six, if he was 6'6". Six, because six. he was just, again, his shoulders super are so long. wide and his arms are long. Oh, 
Who's that young buck right there on Look the Look at line? that handsome oh, lad. Nice. Got the Xbox sponsor? Yeah. Dude, Xbox sponsor? That's, and you're uh, like clean less than shaven. 5% body fat? Sheesh. Rosie. Look at Larry Dizzle. Good thing he's he's shredded, kind of shredded too. Jeez. Those glasses didn't do him justice. If he had some... Did you take the chat off? Uh, I did just for one oh. second. Sorry. Oh, I guess I was 25. It must have been just after June. 25. I barely was playing volleyball when I was 25. I know the Raiders are in the house. One of the underdogs for the no. house? Oh, hey. Oh, who's trying to come up in oh, here? I just think it was too quiet. Okay, bye. Okay. If at first it doesn't open. Pull harder. Just pull harder. <laughs> Maybe, we Maybe, we shouldn't log. Maybe we shouldn't log us in. Why? Well, for that reason. If they rip the door panel up. <laughs> then we'll learn. Can Karai last? Come on, he's I'm he's he's older in this final than I am right now. <laughs> Damn it. Means Rosie, whenever you're ready. Playing. Come yeah. on. <laughs> whenever you're ready. All right, here I just gotta do a few. Yeah, I'll get these legs back. <laughs> oh, cramping. <laughs> so no uh no sunnies. Were you just kind of being uh, born on the beach? Did you just yeah, no, have those I, I didn't eyes? wear I, I didn't wear glasses until uh I actually got paid to, to wear them. Really? And then I, I was got, the same. And then I got used to them. Yeah. I, I, I didn't like them at first. I could never do they mess with my depth perception. Yeah. Okay, here we go. First serve. The crowd is hyped. Oh, Larry, just off the net, right side to smash right down the side. line. <laughs> Smashing. Right side. Were guys on the juice or off the juice? Um, I would think um, mostly off. Hmm. Oh, bring on some heat, Karchi. But that was also like a he likes baby that tempo. Little, that little yeah, quick he, set. Yeah, he took a... As he got older, it, it got a little less and a little. When was little push. the time where they ran like I formation to get through the tournament? Uh, so this year. Sometimes this year because, uh, I mean, everybody is serving cards every single yeah. ball. But so. I remember his back was hurt. It wasn't this game, right? No, they don't do any I formation in this game. Oh, let's see. Get up there, Rosie. Oh, I think the transition set. Oh, oh huh? my uh, word. Roll hey, huh? That's the beauty of having this speed off the net block. Yeah. Is. But look at, he digs it and you're still in the air. What was he just <laughs> pressing <laughs> over, dude? That's insane. And then roll that thing up there. What is funny is uh, just watching Jake Gibb transition set so much. I realize that so I, girl, I good often. At curling yeah. like everything. I oftentimes will bump set to give that little. Oh, Ber Berana calls it pre spin. Look at that reach. I caught a net on me there. Is that spider on the back of the hat? Yeah, that was a spider hat. Uh, I mean, where, right where, where, are they at? where are they at in the rosy world? Right? Spider's still here. Oh, I really wanted to hit that. <laughs> Oh, I've watched Lam this game. Lambo will make you think twice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Rosie, sure. I've watched this game probably ten times. Have you? Mm -hmm. There watched. wasn't a lot of volleyball on YouTube when I was learning to play, and obviously, it's no secret that Karch was my idol. But as we bled into the newer school, watching you play and just your style of play was tapped me back into that old school, quote unquote. Oh, that's what happens when you swing yeah, on land. Yeah, that's. I, <laughs> there's a lot of times where I'm like, huh, a lot of swings. I thought I had that dig easier than I did, and then I just wasn't quite there, so everything was a little off rhythm, and I just tried to swing out of it. Oh. What advice would you uh, give yourself here? Or you just be like, hey, it's the final. Um, it's what is it? What just on that one play? Yeah, oh, you that's, be like, that's, that's a good, a good swing. Yeah, yeah. I took a good middle swing. I mean, I could have been a little more aggressive, but I'm not mad at it. Lambo's going to get his. 
See, Larry will just keep swinging. <laughs> Swing away. Zach, any luck on your DoorDash? <laughs> Just a bit oh. outside. A buddy of mine does have this uh, thing in his stream that you can order him food and like deliver it to his house, like no, in right. his stream. And so his name's Inspired Green. He's come in the chat once or twice, but yeah, that's outstanding. Did Lambo ever jump surf? Oh, yeah. But, um, surprised he didn't know. more. Yeah. Especially being with how athletic and that army is. I think he did more with Stein. For some... Oh, my oh, gosh. Scoop City. Oh, this is when Karchi bounces it on me. Whoa. <laughs> Karchi. A little fired up there. And and Lambo has the Gatorade and the Visa tattoo. Yeah, those those are some nice sponsors there. Not Cultured Slice or uh, any of sponsored by uh, I think Nautica. <laughs> I think was his shorts, which was a big. Uh... <laughs> no, nope. here's your sandwich. Hmm. Visa, Mastercard, Xbox, Crocs. So. One high line by you so far. Everybody else has been, and everything else has hammered. been pretty much swings. Even Karch. It's, uh Huntington, it yeah, Huntington Beach, shallow sand. Yeah. I mean, it just happens that way in tournaments like that. A lot more swinging, so I better start getting some blocks. Oh, there's a shoddy. There we go. Had to rely on the grandmaster. Let's see it. Let's see the first high line. What are your thoughts on putting those little cones in the corner of the court? But when you play a game, you didn't realize like, hey, those high lines go down. You know, you know, understand what I'm saying? The little like yeah. cones well, and making those cut shots. You should be drilling it so that when you're in the game, oh. that those shots are going to the corner because those mm -hmm. are the best parts. But but measuring, you took that step, you just measured Larry and kind of just chopped it over? Yeah, because you're looking at, you're trying to see both of the players. So if you see the guy kind of step in and Rosie was kind of jumping out, that high line, you don't need to be perfect right in the corner. Yeah. But here's your point. You're talking about, I mean, obviously there's only one game being played, but there's, what, six outer courts? And that stadium is jam-packed. Rosie, you brought this up that in the finals. It'll be packed, no yeah. matter what. But I mean, this is obviously the last game of the tournament, so yeah. Uh, but I will is there watching absolutely this, yeah. crush for Big Macs. I love me some McDonald's. I'll get in there. Oh, oh the there. corner! Uh, yeah, how, do, we, do we drill that? Do we drill that, Rosie? Remember the cones? Yeah, was we were that? just talking about the cones. I tried to <laughs> hit one on the Scoopy. Look at this. What's so cool, and you have been helping me, you know, on defense talking about it, but you're doing the split step before that was even a thing, and we're seeing nowadays that that's like, I wouldn't say well, revolutionary, but it's becoming well mandatory in the indoor you know, game. I didn't really even think about it, but yeah, let's think, look at let's look at tennis. They serve the ball 140 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. First serve, second serve, no matter what, they all do that. Yeah, they have to, and if they have to do that, that means it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, I didn't even think about that until um, I was just watching that tournament out there in uh, Palm Springs. That was just uh, on uh, smooth last week or so. Yeah, it's Can funny. I you probably like through through either of your careers. Did you ever? Oh, let's get a little. In, uh, yeah, I'll remember this question. This is the points leader for a Nissan. Is that was that a Tacoma or just our Nissan uh, truck? It was just Nissan, and you get to Ooh. go in a Nissan and pick your car. All right, so Dax Holdren is in the in the lead here. Uh, Stein and Jake do eventually end up winning that. Spoiler: We needed that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? We 
Ooh. Oh, more bits. Zach ain't whack. Yes, I am a Mickey D's guys. If J Dow twenty two is still in here, uh, he's been my best friend since we were in kindergarten. And one summer we went to McDonald's every single day. Oh, dude, I've had for one McDonald's of those breakfast. Oh, for breakfast? Yeah. We did it for an, any meal of the day. We'd have one called headquarters. We had one that was home base, and uh, we had one other term. And it was all in Dana Point on PCH. There's that McDonald's. As you go up the hill, as you're coming to come in in Doheny, there's all this stretch of fast food. And then the one by the school was home base because they would take their lunch there. <laughs> so, like, every day we were eating. Oh, bless the... Uh, it was like two for three bucks. You got a McDouble and a McChicken. Yeah, they've been uh, raising their prices, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dollar menu is not a dollar menu anymore. They call it a value menu. <laughs> Why don't you value your customer? And the high line. The high line. How about the, uh, how that first game ended? Larry with the spader on Karch. Karch is one of the best passers of all time. He did not get him to get aces on him very often. Yeah, we were flying through. I can't believe it's game two. Well, they did. Uh, I think they cut through. They it. cut through in the middle. I think we were up like 11, 10, or 12, 9, and then it jumped in. and we Oh, were this up is like, the AVP rewind one. Is that what it is? You have yours that's been up for a while because I've seen this game many times. The full thing through? Mm-hmm. Oh. But that's all right. Game two, here we are. Just well, means who we, won the first? We did 21-15 oh. with that oh. spader by Larry. Yeah. It's... Oh, oh, there's, oof, there's I mean, Lambo. That's, that's tough. So I set that a little tight and a little low. And when it's a little low and tight, you don't have time to really adjust. To... No, here we'll see it right here. That was just a yeah. really but, good press and move. Larry is just one of those guys that love the ball about five feet off, four feet off. So, and almost squeezed through, but his oh, hands yeah. are so strong. Muzz, my goat. I have never played Seaside. Would love to play it one Nor day. Have neither, I. Have, neither have I. T Crab, do you want to play Seaside this Let's year? Let's do Come it. On. Looks like a great tournament. Looks fun. Larry, right down the seam. The question I was going to ask you guys is do you. Throughout your career, have you ever thought of, or in if you did, when that people watch you both for a film? And like without you knowing, people just look at Taylor Crab as a defender, maybe somebody six foot. I watched you, Rosie. I don't know. Yeah, that's what's funny. It's like it made me think about it. It's like I watched you, I watched every move you did, like even here blocking. I was like, What did you do? What's going on? Did you ever think about that other athletes do that? Um, so what the other athletes, yeah, are watching you, watching you. Watching you uh, uh, like I watched this and learned how to play beach volleyball. How does that make you feel? Uh, that's funny. No, I never really even, I mean, yeah, I always like because I've never thought about it that somebody I, people are like, Oh, I watch you, and I'm like, I hope you don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of other people. The only time watch. it really, like, I guess, came to my attention was when the McKibbins made all those videos because then wherever I went, uh. A lot of people were like, oh, I learned how to hit because yeah. of you from the McKibben's video. But, I mean, other than that, I never really thought about it. As long as I up a little late on that block there, hit it right down the seam off my arm. A little bump. Bump, Jay. Larry just bringing some more heat. <laughs> Larry hasn't shot a ball yet yeah. in this game. <laughs> so, oh, uh, here we go. This oh, is, is that gonna... Brent Doble? Don't and Matty Olson. Olson. Matty O. Matty O. I got to call you. 32-30. Look at that game between oh, the one and two down. seed. Wow. So it looks like that's the semis. Yep, that's one semi. So I did get that oh, one right. Oh, no way. That's how they won? <laughs> Yeah, who, who did we play? Let's see if I got mine right. Dax probably, right? I, I said Dax and yeah. Jeff, but it could have very well been Casey and Furby. Mm. Nick and Phil? It could have been Nick and Phil. That's just... 
I, uh, an aged uh, Karchi in oh, that. Nice. Young that's Rosie's like, this is how you freaking hit a ball. Yeah. Hard swing right yeah. there. That one felt oh, good. Oh, boy. That's how that you felt good. I'll keep like, it off the tape. You, oh. I mean, that's got to be so cool to dig the legend and then just go, hi-ya over you. <laughs> watch, watch your head. Oh, go for that pink hat, huh? <laughs> Let me take the pink hat for a ride. Put some miles on that thing. I know Quan said it. He's, uh, and I've had this message before, and that was a big reason why I wanted to change the hat. But it was also a cool reason to keep wearing it was that there is a n younger generation. Hang on, Rosie with a little dig. Oh, no. oh, oh some yeah. speed down the scene. But this younger generation doesn't know Karch Karai and some of these older legends. So mm -hmm. they would like, oh, I didn't even know Karch wore it. I thought it was just you. And that broke my heart because that's like, oh, I didn't even know that Michael Jordan wore 23. I thought it was just LeBron. But I know that there's people out there yeah. that do it. But who did it first? And so hopefully we can get this, the actual Slunk's hat. Uh, revealed this year, oh tagging the God. line, just out. Well, Rosie says that. Like it was on the line right it there. Like it was in. I don't know. I might have. I might have paid that side judge <laughs> a beer. Or so after the game, yeah, you should have. Pre-game. <laughs> I just, I just never felt comfortable wearing and selling the hat if it was just all Karchi. But it was cool to get people to realize who the OG was. You know. Gosh dang it! Yeah, for sure. You're just going a little too up, and then it'll yeah, go exactly, yeah, it's squeaking just, it through. I, I net it a lot when I would just go straight over. Uh, so like, with your lat, or what do you uh, net with? Usually, it's just your my belly button, arm. his armpit hairs. Look at this. <laughs> but like, so, you know how blockers now are all taught to be like wait and be late. Yeah. I was always in my head was early and over. <laughs> yeah. early and over that's what i told myself early over early over and i still want to get up early enough because <laughs> i'm still going up and then pushing over and i knew that's just how i was so mm -hmm. i needed to be but again i didn't go through coaching and the normal routine i did it my way and that was what was right to me <laughs> zach will never let you live down zach these shorts Rosie. is the ultimate troll what what are the shorts? A little too big? He said you and Taylor should wear shorts to your knees in Houston as a tribute to Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, I mean, uh, Zach, the day you see me shorts to my knees, I'm retired. <laughs> and I've taken all fashion advice from Adam Sandler. But until that day, my shorts shall never touch these knees. Oh, off the net. He's fine with it off the net. Yeah. Oh, the left. Oh, I mean, you can't oh, do that, Karch. I think I netted. They called. No, they called Karchi. He ran his back into the net. Come on. They called Jose, hit it with his left. Hang on. I did net, but Karch might have came under and, like, hit my legs to, like, make me yeah, net, you net, maybe. But look at. Oh, you did. No. Oh, I Karch think... didn't even. Oh, he netted the I bottom. think I just netted pretty bad. But... Yeah, <laughs> that's tough. That is tough. That, that's just a young mistake, and Karchi the Legend's coming under to you. You don't want to, like, hit legs or land on feet. So I'm going to blame that one on Karchi. Yeah? Karchi? <laughs> Mike Rangel. Who's Mike Karchi. Rangel? For... That was Karchi's coach. That guy was, uh... That guy... It's like the Gary he Schreiber? Was he was an entertainer. That guy was, that guy was funny. Uh, he was a good dude. Big personality. <laughs> There's the Karchi cut. Yeah, the baby cut. That really oh. threw me off with uh, Larry pulling. And then he still pulled the baby cut out, which is like he That's don't a good expect shot. that yeah. On, yeah. on that one. Like you're thinking I mean, at least to your, you're going to dig it with your left hand yeah. and you're going to cut and that not, corner off. In yeah. front to my right hand. Oh, yeah, that's who we lost to the year before. That's right. I thought we went to back to back finals. Man, he saw that so well on the right side just oh, to tap it down. And that, that's not an easy swing on the right. No, because you know, like Lambo's making right. that, and I thought Larry was about to get roofed by Lambo, like just watching yeah. volleyball. And then he just, ooh, taps it down. And like, and again, yeah, that's hard swing to do, 
But that's also a Lambo out there. Like, that's really hard to do. Gosh, Are you I kidding me? Like, even that, right? He sets it. You're like, okay, See? Jed. Now, if, if I could go back in this game and Larry and I could talk it out a little bit, uh, I would have definitely well, have had Larry yeah. up at the I mean, net. Because there are some games like, where I just like wasn't really getting it. And ran just one block the whole yeah. time. We, well, we didn't you guys to... have been scooping him in the angle. So. Yeah, he didn't have enough power to really get by us at this point of his career. Oh, oh my, oh, my word. word. Field goal? That's just available. Did you say power? I don't know if that was through or... Well, I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, right yeah, through. Right through. Yeah, three points <laughs> on the board. Hello, hi, 808. Thank you for those bits. Thank you for the biddies. And you... Are too generous today with the bits. Can't thank you enough. I can get my McDonald's later. Yes. Oh, is, that, is that what Guys, I have do? Chick Fil A that I'm just smelling. Eventually, you'll be able to. Eventually, eat I'll it. eat it. <laughs> All right, we're back already. It's twenty-one, twenty-one. It was just eleven, ten us. Oh, oh what, what a, a cover. cover! Oh, this is twenty-one, twenty-one. Oh, golly, guys. Sorry. Well, Vic will be happy. Did Larry? <laughs> ever shoot a ball in his life <laughs> Larry um, uh, I guess I'll tell it in between the second and third game with a story of him uh, in I think 98 um, but yes when it was big court he had he had one of the best high lines ever he just didn't really use them this because who had a better high line play check <laughs> or uh, play checks high line did not stand a chance against Larry okay I still got a rate. It's still awesome. It's <laughs> hilarious. That's a part of our origin. Ooh. Yeah. That was fun with Larry. Like we didn't we didn't shoot much. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, we my, kept putting my... ourselves in position to get back there. Is he so much of uh all your kids in you in this in your twenty five? Oh there we blocked an <laughs> angle. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh. See, if I had the Larry vision, I could have just hit down the line. <laughs> just blast or just away. the gnarly, just little cutty on the rocks. Oh, it was going out, too, if it didn't hit you. I'm calling out here. Just hit you right in your noggin. Fantasy stat says... Taylor and Troy version of Uncle Drew. Old that man makeup. <laughs> and then, hey, you guys mind if we play? We challenge on? That would be a cool. That would be really cool. A little YouTube video. Maybe one day if the right side takes off, guys. A few more of these biddies, and then we'll be fine. Pay enough for the makeup. Corcoran 13. Now we need a new uh, lock because he almost just ripped it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the door must be stuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, he netted with his whole side. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Aloha said, you said biddies? Yeah. Look at all them big old biddies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank big you, Aloha. Biddies. Don't worry, Vic. We're, we're, we're good. We will have to figure out a way to let the outside world know that we're... Oh, uh, Lambo, you wonder if he's swinging. Streaming. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's straight. His first serve all game at, yeah. at 23 all in the second game. But we've jump served every time. Yeah. And uh, Lambo is very much like that. He went with the pitch. He didn't care where you oh, were, yeah. whatever. That ball is inside his right shoulder. He's bouncing. He's it. hammering angle. And that ball is outside his right shoulder. He's hammering line. Hmm. <laughs> and you still couldn't stop it. Wow. It was just so rangy. It yeah, now so I feel heat. like. The pro level players, Chase would talk about it like opposites. You know, like even for me, I know me. But if a ball goes out on the right side, I want to go whoosh, and want to go back, back. And so, where you guys may be watching, you might find uh, yourself that you're like, "What are you talking about, Rosie? Go with the set." And uh, that's another way that it will help you on defense because the amateur will go with the set. Not saying that Lambo was an amateur; I just he was unstoppable at his yeah. thing, but. We do find it at that amateur level that if it dies inside, probably going uh, diagonal or angle, goes outside, going line, depending on which side you're at. Ooh, little Karchi just 
Talk about textbook, baby. Look at this. <laughs> Ooh, way to turn it. <laughs> what a little turn. Uh, barely stayed out of the net. I like what uh, Space Ghost right there said. Do the Uncle Drew out of FUDs. Oh, we all get like old that person. Would be, that would be amazing. For the whole weekend? <laughs> yeah, for the whole. Dude, I would 100%. Did, there was one guy at so Six rad. Man who had an old man outfit. Hang on. We got match point or set point. Karch on the line. Oh, we're oh, fine. Come, come on. We're come fine. fine. You're not scoring. Watch this transition set. Oh. oh, no. That's a little tight. In the bow. When Lambo's up there. Yeah. 26, 24. Uh, what did you say about. Uh, you were talking about. Chase Budinger, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Chase Chase Bud. C Bud. Um Yeah, but it you know trying to help me on defense and then you know, I find that watching the ball and watching if it dies inside and being so specific on my visual to be above the net. I mean, this is maybe more extra than other players, but when I'm just looking at that hand contact or just looking at the ball, I get crossed up. Like in basketball, where I'm like, uh, is it inside, outside? What are they going to do? Versus oh, watching defense. watching their whole mass and just trusting, like, watching the game happen. Yeah. I, I always liked kind of watching their approach, their speed, the angle of which they're coming in. And then, you know, I already know what our play is. If we got line yeah. or angle where I'm supposed to be. And mm -hmm. then I kind of get a little bit of feel on top of that. Yeah. And put together an educated spot to go to. Yeah, not so much, I guess, but not so much. Uh, I have to be on the line because we're blocking angle. Like, mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're trying to bait them, pick everything in to give yourself, you know, the best read. You're not guessing on where it's going. No. So maybe at times, if it creeps in your head, like, oh, the ball is inside, so they're gonna go with it. So you start leaning there. Yeah. Like you never want to pre de predetermine what it is. You want to react to what you see. Yeah, there was times where at the net, you know, I see the game so much closer. So it is just easy to see that. Like oh, you yeah. know, and one. I mean, this is just an instance that Chase brought it up. But on came on an inside set when he was playing with Theo, he really liked to do like the little raindrop back mm. to the line. And then if it kind of chased out, then he really liked that like high line or swing yeah. line. And so there was one that it died inside and I broke and I was able to get the little short. And Chase was like, that's awesome. Did you see the die inside? And I was like, no. I was like, <laughs> I can't see it. But at the yeah. net, I can. And even being there, it's like I can see the game so well. So I understand where, what Chase, where Chase is coming from. But it's just his, his verbiage didn't translate to me and so now it does but i hate trying to articulate well, it's hard, it's hard to just put one thing too it's like oh it dies inside so yeah. i'm going this way like mm -hmm. yeah that's one thing out of his approach out of his out of the height of the set out yeah. of the tempo of the set out of the wind everything yeah. where you're starting yeah the wind um someone's asking right here about any device on staying light on your feet in the sand and i think that's yeah. a lot of what yeah, i was saying where you're kind of you're always moving your feet just a little bit, kind of. It doesn't have to be a lot. It could just be small, just to stay on top of the sand. And then that split step, right as they're, like, maybe jumping or right as they're, you know, for me, it was more as they were about to make contact with the yeah. ball. But, um, you know, it depends on what level you're playing at and who you're trying to read or whatever. You could probably do it a little bit earlier. Um, but it's nice to stay on top of the sand like that, and you could... You could feel it when you try it out, just how you can go left or right or straight. It, it just feels right. Well, the the biggest misconception, I think, about defense, that it is right to teach beginners this way, is to be stopped on defense, but I don't like that terminology or whatever. It's better to be balanced on yeah. defense. It doesn't matter if you're completely stopped because it's actually harder to burst out of that than it is if you are moving your feet or lightly mm -hmm. with that split step and then you're able to bounce out of it. Was there anything, I mean, I know you have an inc incredible reaction time. Shout out Mario Party for displaying that <laughs> uh, guitar. But <laughs> did either of you feel like you worked on anything or did something that your reaction time was at its best or that you had really good reaction time? You know, like people say, like, you juggle. Like, there's all this weird stuff that yeah. a lot of people say. But 
obviously the more you train your brain and the more you're playing, your reaction time gets better. And the more you know the game and have watched it play, you know, you can get better. But is there any advice or anything that you did to have a good reaction time? I mean, I don't, there's not stuff specifically that I did. Like there are some reaction drills that I've done, but I think the biggest thing for me was just playing every sport growing up. Uh, as I got older, like the last eight years, I started getting into ping pong. Me and Rosie had some good ping pong battles in I've China. I've watched you play ping pong. <laughs> it's gnarly. Uh, but yeah, there's there's always little things you can do, but it's it's up to you to kind of make that read and have in your mind that you're gonna go for everything instead of like oh it's a high line i'm in the angle like i can't get it yeah no you don't know like yeah. go get it see what happens yeah i would say my three years with larry we split block a majority of the time but then my seven years with jake as i was full-time defender through those years i ran down more line shots than anybody else on tour and the one that was probably closest to me would probably be Casey Jennings, uh, was one that mm -hmm. um, played a really good D. I mean, everybody played good D that were full time defenders from Dax and Raji and everybody. But to be balanced in your spot felt good. And then boom, take off and run down a line shot. I was, I think, head and shoulders more than everybody in those years. Mm -hmm. um, were you doing anything I different think in that the years? Was, no, I think that was just a lot of that, like, creeping in. Like, a lot of people like to, like, hide and then pop out, mm -hmm. and then you have no chance to get back, yeah. right? Like, I think you can do that sometimes. Don't do do not do anything every time, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. As long as you're, you're playing a little bit of a chess game, so sometimes you're kind of creeping in. Sometimes you're hiding over here. Sometimes you're playing real sharp to be like, hey, High lines open, or the middle of the court's open, and then you come back in. Like, yeah, there's no one way to do it, and there's no right way to do it. But you know, it's even like offense. If you have a high line and a cut and a hard angle and this and that, but then you get in the game and you're only hitting a hard angle and a high line, you forget the rest of your shots in your bag. Like, yeah, it happens. It happens to me at the highest level. It happens to me in yeah. the finals. Shit, we haven't even shot a ball besides. Yeah. You know, one or two here. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, you know, almost just putting myself in the position like, okay, well, this happens, this happens, you know, and we do a lot of coaching at the, you know, south of the border volleyball vacations. Shout out to them. It's always a good opportunity to hear from us. But I hear people like, well, if I do this, then I can't get that. If I do this, I can't get that. It's like, well, what did they do? Like, what are you looking at the other team? And if you're like, I can't get the hard driven. It's like, look at them. They're not hitting hard driven. So mm -hmm. why are you so worried about the hard driven? You're like, yeah. oh, I didn't get the high line. It's like, have they hit one high line? It's like, but I need to be here because my coach says this. And it's like, forget everything that you're doing. What is the other team doing to you? And how are they scoring? And how can we take it away? And so when you're thinking about your reaction time, kind of go through maybe some, you know, games. And it's always good to film it because that's your greatest teacher you could see yourself yeah. and you think you're doing something but you're really not you could be doing negative steps we we won't have the the knowledge but eventually you know sub to this channel we'll go over your guys's film so stay uh stay tuned for that announcement but yeah take away what what are they doing what is their favorite shot if they hit one high line but they've hit 10 cut shots why are we worried about why are we putting so much pressure that we didn't get the high line you know how many of these cut shots have we touched oh they're doing cut shot, high line, cut shot, high line, and I can't go to either. It's like, oh, that's a good off, like offense attacker. They're yeah. causing you to think about. But if you're defending the jumbo and they keep going down cut shots, then we would. Uh, and you would, too. You yeah, would tell probably. yourself. It's just sometimes we overcomplicate it. So may, hopefully some of that advice from two of the best defenders uh, in, on the planet to ever play beach volleyball. But I don't want to take away from this third set. Yeah, let's get into this. So. <clears throat> We got to get, uh, what do your guys say? Antoine. You, you threw an oop to yourself? Are you sure that wasn't to you? It's probably <laughs> to him. <laughs> that guy can fly. Oh, we got a flyer? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Flyer. Air traffic <laughs> control. 
He was a great middle. Played uh, overseas a few years. Now oh, he's nice. coaching in Vegas. Well, the right side needs to come out to Vegas. Yeah, I we'll guess. get out to Vegas. There we go. All right, let's get back. We got set three. Set, set three, three coming out. I'm going to guess I'm going to serve Lambo right out of the gate. That seems to work well <laughs> late in the second. Yeah. <laughs> Just a generous guy. Oh, I do a little middle, song. middle. Oh, just scooping. Uh huh. We score the first point of every game. We Karchi, w- stop. We I love you, match. but stop. That's on top of the net. Yeah, we did. So he's gotten you with the Karchi cut and hard driven. There he is. Oh, Perfect time to try it. There better. That was nice. He just doubled up. Just saw the angle, and uh, I think so. Yeah, I, I got a another funny thing about Larry. Uh, um, we're in our we're in our third year here in 2005, and at some oh, really? point this year, I don't remember when it was, but like we had an angle call, and he's he's not there on the line, and I was like, Larry, where were you? We had an angle, and. Uh, He's like, he's like, Rosie, we're we're not gonna score points by calling ones and twos, okay? <laughs> you just need to make a play. I'm like, you know what? You're right, Larry. Yeah. We are in our third year together. We should probably be on the same page. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Who cares? <laughs> you just need to make a play. You do, you, pal. <laughs> That's so funny, Rosie. I'm sick and tired of this. Just make a play. <laughs> Gosh, she did that every time on me. Why am I still blocking? Well, no. Yeah, he did it when you're up. Yeah. But when you're back there, you got a lot of digs. But you see here, chat, if you will indulge me, it's just they've touched every high line. I think one high line went down on you both. And a lot of it's angle in cut. Mm-hmm. But we like our chances against Karch at this point. Yeah, 100%. Oh, lefty. Oh, a little lefty. Well, but at the top of the left, I would say I would see a lot of amateur players. Oh, he's hitting hard angle and he's hitting cut. What do we call two? It's like, yeah. Or your guy could just, you know, you were saying that like you, your other partner, had, your partner had a better rhythm. Why not just put him to the net? That's what the change yeah. you would have made. You and wouldn't have stopped. We, yeah. And yeah. normally we did. Yeah. Um, do that. Oh. oh, we better win this point here. Bump. No handset, huh? Three fingers. Oh, I got him a little tight again. He does not like it tight. Larry's looking around. He's like, well, I bet you he touched it. You think? I bet he did. Let's see. We don't want to see this play. It was a terrible set. (laughs) I saw him a little tight there. God, that's a sharp angle, man. I mean, crazy. He's making that Let's see. Oh, uh-huh. they won't show us. They know. It's rigged. Yeah, they know Scripted. he touched it. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, uh, uh, Zach came back. Uh, Xbox did not. Xbox sponsored the higher team, higher seeded team in the finals uh, this full year. So it was not one person had an individual sponsored by them. It would have been nice. How did you, how'd you get it on Xbox. your hat? You have it on your hat. Uh, I don't know. Somebody? Yeah. I admit, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Somebody gave it to you? There you go. You oh, my. What, a sta- what was that, dude? Hang on. I'm not sure was what happened there. Was that 360 poke? <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> what yeah, we, did you do? Were you trying to me do? Me or him? You. Uh, I, just, I don't know I what happened there. I think just did a 360. Well, this is Larry. Oh, le- oh you turned... <laughs> You just laid out your guy's screen. Oh, I almost dug Lambo's. Uh... What is Larry doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what a little. I don't know. We're still. You know, you're not going to score points by calling ones and twos. Exactly. Okay? <laughs> make a play, just, Larry. Make a play. Make a pl- oh. Oh. Uh oh. Larry. Oh, c- cut like that. I'll take that. Oh, yeah, yeah Rosie. <laughs> I think Larry stepped on the line there. There's Lambo saying he took him out. Yeah, he's saying interference, which he's probably definitely right. No, we did not get unlimited copies of Halo. <laughs> no spoilers. 
No spoilers. I'm in second episode, Rosie. Season oh, no. one. <laughs> gotcha. That is nice actually Lambo, nice. He's got an argument for sure. MD on the mic? No, our chat can't hear it, but. Gosh, that baby cut. It's so frustrating. It's so hard <laughs> to get. Because nobody else did it. Like, yeah. the cut, that side of you. <laughs> but keeping the elbow high, if you're watching that window, you know, that looking to see if the set died inside or outside. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself right there. That high line is still that he just has to turn his wrist for the high line so it is yeah. a really effective shot well, they jumped us again we're up 11 9 on the third here oh larry and i'm Ooh. still blocking what am i doing get off the net <laughs> larry hearts is not the guy for me to block because he's just going under yeah. me as i'm like I'm was here. it super loud in there or why are they covering their mouths i mean this bill bill check on the sidelines trying to read lips or what's going on here i've never seen anybody that's a high swing there. Still swinging away. God, I thought we won this in two. Now I really think we're going to win in three. I, <laughs> I still feel like we're going to win this. You guys are playing well. And it's oh. perfect. You had such a good run on if it, but it's absolutely line, perfect. Like all if that's not on the outside of the line. Yeah, seriously. Show us again. Nope, we don't want to watch perfect high lines, just only swinging. Don't do something stupid here. What's your definition shooting of stupid? A, shooting that. a high line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have Define stupid like, for us real I, quick. I was going to shoot the high line there, and I saw him breaking it, and then I just tried to put a little more pace and make it perfect yeah. there and instead of changing it. Now they're coming at me again, for sure. I'm probably swinging. Oh, Larry's going to oh. take a left-hand option. Wow. Switching well, was, sides at 13, 12. That was a bit of a shooty pass by me, though. And so we just made two unfortunate errors there late in this third set. Oof. See, now if that's Larry passing, you would have just Huntington Beach left-hand line. Yeah, he did like a, a fist thing. You would have just um, wrecked it. Look at this setup. It's incredible. Oh, another bad pass. Oh, oh what a, a swing. swing. That's wow. a ballsy swing right there. <laughs> I knew he was uh, blocking there, too. If he doesn't touch that, I think it's still in, though. I think that was in. I didn't know that indoor like swing for the banners thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Almost. I was up on that one too. I thought I had him. What a move, though. Way to slide in there by wit. Yeah. Let's I see got this. up on this block. I thought I had this one. I'm up oh. late. Gosh. I, have, I do the same thing so much. Where it's like one, like a split second later, it's an absolute stuffing thing. Yeah. Serve me, Karchi. I'm I'm swinging. It doesn't end fifteen thirteen. <laughs> stop it. I'm sure it does. Uh, no, come on. No spoilers. I'm swinging. Oh, oh my gosh! No, no you're not. not. <laughs> oh, oh Winnie. Larry swings. Yeah. <laughs> Carcino. One high line. Uh, Antoine, what are you left arm reaching on what? On defense for that cut shot? Or left arm reaching for Larry on that option? That Rosie's option that went out of bounds? A little clarification, sorry. Uh, sorry, what, what was it? Uh, um, we'll wait till Antoine clarifies it i'm not sure what he meant here we, we're 14 14 oh, here. here don't forget we're watching this game 
Oh, there's a cut. How many cut shots you want to see me do, guys? Hmm? About one cut shot oh, for every win. about hitting left arm to the ball. Oh, like bringing it up. I think I, is I what think he's talking what, about. I think what we said in there, which he might be bringing, is uh, when I pass that thing tight and low and Larry mm -hmm. hit yeah. it and just hit it with his hand. It was just we no got real reaction there. Swing. Oh, oh. there's hey, oh. there he is. Let's go back to the high deep middle. Yeah, yeah that thing's <laughs> it's been working. working all game. Yeah, it's one the the left hand hitting or left hand bringing it up, and then I'm gonna hit with my right hand. Sorry, we're making this more confusing than it probably needs to be. Welcome in beer fund. Thanks for chatting. Oh, oh, Larry. And the low high eight awaits with the with bits the again. Bitties. Bitties. Look at all them bitties. Look at those bitties. You don't think I noticed the, ba the back mountains? Shaped like... <laughs> <laughs> Role models. Rich A. Championship point here. Come on, Jose. Deep middle. Can't swing it. Oh! oh! Jeez Louise. Well, Karch Karai, that is your... Last win. We just watched it. We just witnessed it. I really hope Karch is watching this because that was his uh, last AVP victory in 2005 at 44 years old. That was pretty uh, impressive. 44. And Le and Hayden passed, surpassed that, correct? Yeah, 45. He got one at, I think uh, he Jake? got one at like 48 or 49. No. No. He probably made him. How old was he in Ho oh, well, Hawaii? You guys were. <laughs> Well, he was who won? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he, I he think got one. Jake, Jake, we won that to make sure he didn't. Uh, he didn't win one after that. I don't think. No, his probably Tavares was probably making a final, and he probably he made mm. that when you played with Phil. Well, that's uh, that's tough. He but... was like, uh, try that deep middle again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, we had plenty of chances there, but, uh, you know, a couple of young kids out there playing, you know, to our legends. idols. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. That's unbelievable. And Lambo, one of the best players in the world. And yeah. Yeah. Good, back good my, experience. my Lambo story. So this is something that rubbed off on me very early. And I, you know, still remember this Lambo came to our club practice when I was 15 or 16 years old. In Hawaii. In Hawaii, but however, it was the week after he had knee or uh, Achilles surgery, whenever the last time he got injured was. And the off season of 07? When he went back and played in Italy and then hurt his knee or Achilles. He still came in his, he had a scooter. No way. And still came in and helped our 15 or 16 year old club team. No way. Like what? What guy is gonna get surgery the week before and then still come to a club practice? He has. I mean, he was an outrigger member or whatever, but he had no ties to our team. That's and still cool. help out. I'm happy you won. Great. Sorry, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I we'll watch uh, a Rosie win one of these days. Uh, yeah, one of these days. I, I have won a final. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> I've won one too. Yeah. Chat. We need. <clears throat> from you if you guys are still in here we would love to know what we're not going to watch it today today was fantastic stream can't thank you enough for how mm -hmm. great it was and all the subscribers all of its new all the bits all of its new and fun but all what would you say you could send us a message on the right side what, what, what should we watch next we are all making the joke that we've watched us lose enough we're, we're tired of that <laughs> let's let the chat decide so chat let us know we're uh we're curious. I, uh, I I think we should watch a game from uh, Klagenfurt, Austria. As you were saying that you liked the Austria event, you went to Vienna. Uh, I was no, I, said, I haven't. I haven't oh, been to Vienna. Oh. You've been to. I have got, you been to both. I got to go to the last year. Klagenfurt was still a tournament. Uh, Klagenfurt was. It was amazing. All time. And I know Vienna has been great too, even though I haven't personally been. But because the fans in Austria are just insane. Yeah. If we could oh, pull up a match, I gotta put another shrimp on the bobby. I think my best there was a third um, with Jake in 2012. That was actually the week, the tournament before the Olympics in 012. 012? 12. Um, 
but yeah, that tournament to be able to see the fans and um, and we can pick a final, some final from there. Yeah, I'm in. Whether any of us are in it or not, I never Let's played a final there, but that would be a cool one. I would love it. Well, we can uh, we can play it again if you have some better ideas. We obviously do want to do a watch party for the current tournaments that are going to be going on leading up to Paris. So you as the chat, I mean, I'm sure we've talked about it, but if you haven't heard me say it, that we're going to be hopefully uh, just a another aid if you are blessed with multiple screens and you want to have VBTV on your big old TV and you can have us on your phone. We'll be watching and reacting to that game live. Mm -hmm. And if you want to watch uh, us on your big TV and BBTV on the, we just can't display it sadly, but any re or uh, any replays or anything that happens on YouTube, feel free uh, to let us know. Oh, we won't be able to like do what we're doing on a live game. We couldn't have the boxes with the, the game in there because BBTV is a paid subscription, and we'd be taking away viewers from BBTV. Oh, so gotcha. It'd gotcha. be like pay-per-view fight. We stream it. Us commentate. It wouldn't be. We gotcha. can do it live. Hey, I'm new to no. this, guys. Hey. I don't know the rules. I'm, I'm, I'm new, too. Kidding. I had to I'm ask uh, a few Twitch Come partner on. friends if we could. Uh, Want to make sure we do everything. Bummer. Right. Yeah, we do have um, the winners. Aloha, anyway. We, uh, we do have the winner. So I'll be sending a message today to those winners. And get the address so i won't also i won't spoil it if you get a message from us oh there you go means you won <laughs> unless we wanted to do it now on the on the live stream i think we just send it a message right? yeah send it a message yeah so suspense one more time wait do you how many did you choose we got three winners okay we got one for the first 50 uh, for the first 50 for the slunks i i have i i'm not gonna say it but Okay. Um, that person has already, uh, been messaged and we're working on getting, um, their apparel and then your two Oakley glasses. All right. So perfect. Did I win one of those Oakleys? I, I need a, he I need a pair. Look at your DM. See if you got a message. <laughs> <laughs> He'll send you a message. Uh, I saw Richie ask, uh, if I play weekly still and no, I haven't been, um, uh, haven't been playing much volley lately. Probably for the last year or two. Um, I just did it for 30 days, th 30 days, 30 years, like every single day. And, you know, right now it's just kind of a time I, I, I'm enjoying this break a little bit. I'm, I'm getting to the point, especially sitting here doing this with you guys. I'm watching old games where I'm, you know, getting that little bit of uh, missing it kind of thing. So it won't be too long before I get back out there. But I'm just enjoying my break off of it right now. Playing a lot of golf. And um, trying to get that game a little better. Working on the swing a little bit. So <laughs> Yeah, chat. We got him. We got him right where we want him. But you gave so much to the sport. So a, a nice long break. I mean, I talked to Jake when he was retired and he played with you. I was like, are you, we going to get you back in the sport? Are you going to be around? Mm -hmm. And he was like, frick no. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. I'm yeah. out. And then... You know, presented with the opportunity to do Spiker, and now he's around it a lot more. And Rosie, you agreed to do the right side with us, and so now you're around it around well, a lot more. We'll, uh, we'll get Jake up here for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, we're doing a golf stream with Jake. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll go down and how good would that be? We'll do a uh, a right side exhibition for his club, where the club the kids yeah, uh, we get to play a game. Stream one of those live practices if Jake wouldn't mind us. Showing a few of his secrets out there. <laughs> yeah. It'd be, uh, uh, but that would be really cool. I think we got to have a Rosie, Jake Gibb, and I would love to see even Taylor Crab, SOB, Puerto Vallarta, since Jake's been on a few and uh, we get to watch uh, his family play volleyball and Jane's been on a few. And so I know this, this November, hopefully we get Jake at a PV. So at maybe, PV. uh, Maybe we I get, think we just set up an exhibition. Get Jake back out there, Rosie out there, Lambo and Karch. Two thousand five. Let's run it back, baby. Four on. Wow. Let's do a four man. Run Rosie's back. swinging for match point. He's not. Here. That would be Larry. That was two thousand five. Two thousand six. Oh, um, and what? I thought I was gonna say something about. Um. 
thought I was going to mention something between games two and three in that uh, one, but was it a Larry story? Yeah. Oh. Was he being a, a good boy? <laughs> is. For the most part, always a good boy. Good. In Vegas. Four on four exhibition in Vegas. Oh, now we're talking. I'm in. And then after party at Dre's. Ooh, here we go. Doesn't Dre stay open until like eight in the morning? Uh, I believe I came out of there before and like was, the sun's out and it's yeah. bright. You're like, oh, man. I was there till 4 a.m. Uh, that, that'll had be to go tough. home. That'll be tough for me these days. <laughs> Four in the morning. Do. <laughs> Fantasy tell uh, Sarah what's up. I don't think there's any um, Harry Potter nerds in here, so we'll just <laughs> scroll on past that. It's just me. But uh, R. Herms said, what, if anything, does your volleyball background help with in golf? I'll let you guys well, answer this because I could talk for uh, hours. I'll go, I'll go real quick on that. Hang on. Before we oh get going. Oh, my goodness. Well, no way. Rich A. Rich A. Gifted five. That's five. No Tier way. one subs. That's our first five gifted. Wow. Rich A, just, you know. Rich A. What can we do to thank we you, man? Thanks that. so much. We have uh, Gwen the Gangster, David. Oh, your guy. Oh, Twan got one? Twan got one. Was. And Christian, we got that as Christian. And Kelly AF. Y'all just got gifted subs- uh, subscription. You got the whole month. You get to be a subscriber to the right side. We'll have all of our tiers, all the different benefits that you can get. But one of those benefits will be uh, having our little emotes. So next stream, yep. you'll be able to use Rosie, myself, and T Crabs as a little emote. Only our subscribers get those. So mm-hmm. stay tuned for that. It'll be fun. So <laughs> that we're gonna see. We're gonna see our faces on this. So I don't even be... know what the emote is. I'm, I'm still oh, learning all this. Yeah. Stuff. So oh, here's yeah, uh, that'll be you. Here's right. the uh, <laughs> our emotes. So instead of uh, this little thing, we'll have picture uh, of your you. face. Ah, okay. Yeah. So just right here. This is this will be Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! Now you can give it to somebody else. You can hey, pay it forward, or you save it for next month, huh? She's, she's kind of hot. Who is that? Mm, hey guys, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're hotter. Um, yeah. So, dude, the, wow! Thank you so much. I forget yes, where we're going with this. You. Oh. Now we're asking a question about golf and volleyball. Oh yes, how yes, related. yes. And the rich A kind, of, you know. So, but what I always loved to play a lot of golf in my in the off season was that it was a lot like volleyball. As in, like you know, you've seen in this where I'd get blocked or something, and I would come back and keep swinging or whatever. Like next play, next play. It's like then you don't dwell that one of the best blockers just blocked you. It's next mm-hmm. play. Golf was always like. In volleyball, I knew what I did wrong, mm-hmm. right? Like, and that's next play. Golf, I don't always know what I did wrong, but you hit the ball in the trees. You can't be like, oh, how did I do that? Why did I do that? What the fuck am I doing? You got to go find your ball, and it's next shot. So it's like you're not, you know, like a goldfish, yeah. like, uh, <laughs> like coach. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I, I said the same thing to coach would say. I was like, oh, I know what I did wrong. Here comes the next yeah. one. Reload. <laughs> <laughs> Drop. <laughs> topped it in the water i'm bending my club like this and taylor grabs it i oh, think exactly. i figured something out <laughs> <laughs> well, we definitely don't uh, uh know what we did exactly wrong on the game of golf where as in volleyball i pretty much knew what i did wrong whether it was uh, just a bad decision or whether it was you know not adjusting for the wind or whatever it might have been uh it was still you know, hey, next play. No big deal. Like, I make mistakes. Karch made mistakes. Yeah. Um, and it's next play. And so golf was good for me that way. Yeah. Keeping me uh, really working on my mental game on the golf course. It helped with my volleyball mental game for the following mm-hmm. year. So it's kind of trying to kind of work on those off together. Of what you and were it saying. kept my competitive juices flowing, which also oh, yeah. I think helps. At the high levels. That's when I discovered that you could get mad. That was the first <laughs> time in golf. <laughs> golf. <laughs> but I do think I would, when I was playing golf, kind of your whole, you know, like goldfish and neck shot was telling myself, like, I would, I realized that I reacted a lot more <laughs> and I was more angry in golf. But then there was also times where it's like, oh, I could 
change that mindset and I could play for learning and I could take it as a learning experience out on the golf course. And I'm like, why don't I think about volleyball that way? Like I don't get that mad in volleyball as the way I did in golf. So, but is there also ways where I can push through the failure, if you will, like I do on the golf course? Like, I mean, we've all played golf together. There's times, yeah, I joke about bending the club, but I can also hit it in the tree and just be like, well, I'll get it out of the tree and then I'll do this. But volleyball, I would be like, all right, let's just calm down here. And uh, so that's where, you know, kind of. But that's because you trusted your skill a lot more in volleyball. So Mm -hmm. it's easier to calm down. Yeah. Yeah, you got anything that helped you with golf and uh, or helped your volley through golf? <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, we, I just I play you, uh, like you, you guys are more so rosy. Maybe like you play, like you want to get better and everything. But for, for me, golf is just go out have fun with you guys. I'm not trying to get better really, but I have gotten better just because I've been playing it a lot more. Uh, but yeah, for me, it's Go out, whack it around, have a couple drinks, <laughs> see what happens. Have a good day. Yeah, well, I had a, I had a pipe dream yeah. back in these years. It's still there. Playing volleyball professionally until I was like 45, which I still have time, I guess. <laughs> and then retire and play five years of strictly golf with a coach and still playing golf throughout all those years. Yeah. Senior tour? And trying to work on the senior tour. Senior I figured tour. if I give myself a ball in five years of any you sport, yeah, like I could figure it out. And especially if I was playing a lot leading up to the time. And then, of course, life happens. I get married, had kids, and golf, you know, kind of falls off the wayside a little bit. So that's when when we started playing, when I, you'd see me get mad out hmm. there is because I was down to like a four handicap or something. Yeah. And then I played so little golf for a while. And it well, like, you also like had injuries. My shows and injuries yeah. and just retiring and just getting divorced. And I'm like a lot on your mind where golf is a very mental game. So then I'm starting to play like bad golf and I'm like getting frustrated. <laughs> and I was in this rut for like two years where I was just so frustrated with it. Well, yeah, like things and, that were your bread and butter. I remember you were saying like your driver... Yeah. wasn't where you wanted it to be and you're just like if you could have seen me i was like oh, you'll get there rosie don't you or <laughs> and uh so it's it's starting to come back my last uh my last i would say like eight months or so on the golf course has been uh been kind of steadily getting better a little you more shot a, you just shot a 72 I did just one more understood. stroke, and I you mean, never would have had to work on the right side. It on my, uh... <laughs> you didn't paint. You didn't paint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys were painting. I was dropping a seventy-two out there. We said if you didn't shoot, if you shot a seventy-one, you would not have to show up. Yeah, uh, we did say under par, and I was one over par. That yeah. was a par seventy-one. Oh yeah, under par. You, you yeah. guys did give me a. We gave you. I was one under par on the front nine, though. But we we were like, I hey, I'm with it. He shoots <laughs> under par. This would be great. Yeah. Don't show up. Um, uh, well, talking how I have learned, I guess, from golf was more understanding how the amateur goes about beach volleyball as well. And I think a lot of the amateur thinks about, yeah, Yeah. how's your thyroid? (laughs) Um, the amateur thinks about golf in that way where it's like, I don't want to go to the driving range. Uh, I just want to go to the course and play. And I have four hours, you know, five hours if you're in California, six hours sometimes for a round that I just want to go play and I want to like move my time to learn and get better. And I think that the average volleyball player is very similar that they just want to go out to the beach or the sand, play their game, king of the beach or play a round robin, have a few drinks, have a great time, bounce. And there's also the people who get that lesson Oh, I got a lesson from Sean Rosenthal. You know, I've been working with him for, you know, three weeks. And I feel like my game's in a great spot. You go out and play. You're trying to show off for your friends and you're trying to get better and you're trying to do all this. And then there's the, I have a group of guys that we do drills and then we play. That's the equivalent of a person going to the driving range and then going to play. Like, I think the amateur, how they think about golf and volleyball is so similar. And so there's nothing wrong with playing and you know, I have had three lessons in golf and they were terrible. I hated them, <laughs> but I was in that place where I really wanted to learn and I'm going to go after somebody and try to learn from a pro. Cause that's the same thing I would do in volleyball. 
So I think my understanding on how the amateur volleyball player goes about it was easy for me to understand because I sympathize with that. I, that's how I think about golf. There's times where, yo, I just want to play a scramble. And that would, to me, would be like the four on four that we do out here. It's like complete brain off. I just want to have fun, yeah. play four on four. And then the scramble is another one. If I really want to work on my game and try to shoot a low score, that would be, you know, me playing, having a practice and trying to play a game. But it's also like uh, being able to play that round and not get frustrated. If you can look at it as, hey, this is my practice session. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a that's a better way to not be getting frustrated. I mean, I had these expectations for a while, which are bad in golf. Mm -hmm. You don't want expectations. <laughs> yeah. But then you're going out and playing and you're all over the place. And then you get frustrated because you're expecting something. And... But you can definitely go out there. You don't need to go to the range. I mean, yeah, it's going to help in the long term. But as long as you're using that round as in yeah. your mind, this is a practice round. I'm, but a live practice. Mm -hmm. It's a great, great, great way to do it. Yeah, well, that's our golf and how it's helped our uh, yeah. our volleyball. But I've got some Chick-fil-A that's staring me in the face. And i got to go get my McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, all these... <laughs> Uh, talk about McDonald's. We need some. But, Chad, this is the new studio. We're going to decorate the walls, but we got everything Maybe. dialed in. You will be seeing us here in uh, what we call our podcast form. Yep. We'll probably have a better uh, term for it, but this is our podcast style. We'll have on the beach, we'll have in the gym live streams and YouTube videos. If you want to catch this one, this one will be on YouTube, or if you want to show your friends, that's a uh, link is in our bio here or it's on instagram um in the gym live ones oh yeah we got it takes I a think, lot to get me in the gym i think so we're gonna have a uh how to work out like taylor sander oh yeah dropping mm. soon so, i walk into a gym and everything looks like it's written in chinese i just don't know <laughs> where to go or yeah what to do. yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah well that will be it from us thank you guys so much Awesome for being guys. here thank you thank yeah, you thank for you. the subs all the, the bits subs. the bits everything we appreciate it it's aloha cool. the bits yeah thank uh, you everybody on there thank you and again anything um please uh send it in a dm to the instagram that's all all three of us so you never know who you're really talking to but it's a great universal way to communicate with the right side um zach and colin i'll text you about the Padres game. Maybe if we get two extra tickets, Rosie and Tay can come. But that'll be it. Uh, Rosie, sorry you had to lose again. Um, well, I'm sure I'll, right, we'll, I'm, we'll uh, fix that. We'll fix yeah. that. I we'll, won my we'll first two finals producer. ever I played in, and I never thought I would lose the finals. So your adrenaline was flowing, you're <laughs> feeling good, you're in the finals. Yeah, I lost a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm used to it. Well, we love you guys. Thank you so much. Can't wait for the next Thanks, one. Thanks, guys. And we'll see you uh, later this week. Peace, Peace out.